So as is usual with things, as usual with things, there's a lot of YouTube videos how to use ClipSync. So, and if you have Windows 11, it is installed by default. I've just checked. I've okay. 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 So that'll. Uh, I guess that'll have to wait until I finally get a new a new computer. That's uh, uh, because I keep getting the message that uh, that uh, this computer doesn't have the is missing something that's needed for Windows 11. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. Oh, that's that old uh, laptop I gave you, Jim? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, how old is that? Oh my goodness, no wonder. Well, gee, I've had it a few years, but I know, and, 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 and you had it a few years before. I yeah. had it a long time before I I passed it on to you. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I'm well, thinking, I, I'm thinking of getting something where uh, I can draw with a stylus something. Which yeah. would be very, which would be very, uh, which would be very useful for the tutoring math and so, and and science. Yes, I use that. I use a uh, Surface, and it's great. Okay, so Surface. This is a specific. Uh, Microsoft, Microsoft that's, Surface. That's from it's Microsoft. It's a model of of laptop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're and, able to write on the screen. You're right. Yeah. And I use it for tutoring in person and over the internet. It's great. Right. Yeah. It's exactly what you're talking about, Jim. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure getting, I, I, I'm, get, I'm getting a little better at actually drawing with the mouse. But still, <laughs> okay. Silas would make it a lot easier. That is so much easier. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. All so. right, everybody, we're here. We ready to start? <clears throat> sort Did you of. Want me to tell the rest of the class or not worry about it? About being recorded? Here. No, no, about, uh, about my adventure with uh, almost going Ooh. blind. So you would be telling it the entire world because we are being recorded. Oh, I know. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Why is... Wow. Chad is pulling up chat from yesterday, last time we played. Oh, Adrian, is Microsoft Surface That's the weird. hardware or the software? Software. Hardware. Yeah, it's hard, it's, it's the it's hardware it runs its own OS. Mm -hmm. yeah. What do you What do you mean? It's pulling up chat from. I'm looking at chat, and it's going. I'm scrolling back, and it's got the last week's yeah. chat in there. What? Yeah. Anybody else seeing that? I don't see that. I, do I too. don't see that either. But nope. that, but I don't know what I'm doing ever. So well, no, no I'm so not I don't. Am I the only one? Yeah. No, Who I haven't. It? Peggy's got it going Peggy, back. Interesting. Hang on. But maybe it's stuff. Did <laughs> no, people put like stuff it. in tonight? No. Well, there's a little bit from. Tonight, yes, it's, but... yes. It starts with the, uh, the 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 post from Wikipedia. That's the first thing. In the, no, yeah. I've got I've okay, got going no, back I don't to have the it. presidents and. By the way, I. Wow. I, I wow, by the way, there's something I think uh, uh, I think everybody would find a bit amusing. Uh, so if I can share screen a bit. Don snore alone. Snorley 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 the nod father. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, yes. can I share screen for just a minute? Yeah, as long as it isn't going to demotinize me. Not that we have anything like that, but. So does that. Oh, yeah. Has a birthday this year. How many sizes? Of <laughs> a local pub yeah. tribe i can't see the bottom they hired me to hey. hired me to run bad quizzes at competing bars oh <laughs> <laughs> and then the bonus question where is london located a the british isles b great britain and northern ireland c the uk d europe or the eu or e greater london <laughs> We could have put that. That could have been um, a trivia Ontario, category. Duh. Jim, you shouldn't have yeah. that. Yeah, I, I was. Yeah, yeah, I was. I was looking at that and thinking, well, let's see. How could I turn these into a quiz? But <laughs> you could have just said the worst trivia. Ever. <laughs> yeah. Who played the drums? The There's the no Punch and Judy up there, though. Is the mud puddle in my backyard? You got a mud puddle? No, no I'm, I'm, a, I'm that, kidding. That's oh, the smallest, smallest lake. Smallest I'm lake. Smallest lake. In the smallest world. lake. Yes. You know what? There's some people on in this in this Zoom call right now whose heads would explode if you try to do this as a trivia category, but others of us would laugh like hysterically. <laughs> anyway. Or giggle a lot. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> who built the first one? Who who built the the Wright brothers built the first one? Who built the last? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's clever. Okay. I, I like number six. Number four. Outside. Don't hate the play, I hate the game. Okay. I, yeah, this is good. This is really good. Okay, so unshare. All right, we not okay, counting Canberra. Here. What city is the capital of Australia? <laughs> <laughs> Could you see me? Everybody you? knows that. Send me that as a link. I want to put that up. That's like cool. it used to, like at one time it was Sydney, wasn't it? No. Wasn't it? No. Like, like Aberdeen. Like, like they Camille built. Reeves seems lovely. Have you been? Uh, do you like Father Ted also? Father Ted. No, oh, I guess you don't know that. Lee. I know oh, who that's... Father yeah. Ted is. I watch a shit ton of British TV. I love British TV, but it seems the part where it says seems lovely. Makes well, that's because Father I custom made the shirt, darling. Ah, so you're influenced by Father Ted. I understand. <laughs> We're going to have a trivia category very soon on Father Ted, so you guys better get on it. All right? Come on now. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. Here comes Jane. Hi, Jane. All right. We got a lot to do tonight. So, and again, as per normal, there's nothing happening in the world these days. So, <laughs> hi, Jean. so, I mean, my God, you know, why do we even bother with them? Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I know. Okay. Let's see. I forgot what I'm doing. What am I doing here? <laughs> you, you have to have finding us. There it is. We're going to go get our names. Yeah. I had to, I had to remember what I was doing though. <laughs> okay. So. The next thing I've got to do is figure out who's on what team, right? So that I can make sure that oh, they're yeah. not on other people's teams when I gen generically make this um, randomness. Okay. Wendy, you are up first. I am what? No, we don't have teams yet, right? Yeah, I know. But, you're not but up now. You're oh, just you going to be up first. I get to do my questions first. Okay. Kat, I you're up have now. Questions ready. They've been ready for two weeks. They've okay. been married. Yeah, I know. They must be seasoned. Yeah. Adrian is third. I got to find Adrian on this list. Oh, take her out of room one, put her in room three. <coughs> and that guy, Carl, was on room four. And Cindy, you have bonus and you're automatically in the right room. Wait, wait, wait. No, if, if Carl's doing a category, why are we seeing him in profile? This is he's room four. He'll change that's, by that's a later time. Okay. He, he only and then we'll somebody... I was worried that this was a Kyle Carl ambiguity mm -hmm. you know, situation. Yeah. He, he's currently still the phantom, so give it time okay. and he'll transition. Yeah. And then I I I modestly will need to confess that I don't know what I'm doing on this to to I don't remember how I did it the last time. I'll need help. Um uh, making my questions on the and my doing my turn copy paste uh, yeah I've got, actually I I I have a, a Microsoft Word no I guess it's a notes document that has all my questions and my answers and I can just copy and paste from that yeah that's how you do it yeah but I don't know where into the chat, chat. into the chat. chat oh you just, just copy from this copy? Is a, Okay. Yeah. yeah, like you yep. probably do all day long. Yeah, all but right. so let's see here. Uh, we can okay. print it out and hold it up to the screen. But... I just assume <laughs> that everything looks good on here. We're missing a bunch of people. We better start nagging people and find out what's going on. Okay, here we go. We all know where Robin is. Yeah, Robin has a homeowners HOA, association yeah. meeting. How dare it's she? Important enough to drag her away. So you need to keep her, keep scheduling things on Thursdays. Come on now. Talk typed to me. It in. <laughs> she came back to see me early. That's nice. I, I typed Tom. it in, Rob. So, it should Rob, be what 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 do I have again? You you pinpointed the 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 condition that I had. Diabetes related eye problems that could have made you go blind if you'd put it off the put it off. Yeah, that's exactly the way he looked it up at Wikipedia. So that's that's, I think that's the best way. To I forgot it. what it was. It was Gail. Your uh, your name almost scared people. It's in the chat, Vincent. Uh, yeah, I I know, know, that's it. Yeah. 
I just say something that was diabetes related that made my eye really hurt. And if I hadn't gone to the doctor, I would have been yeah. that problem. I'm so in the process of fixing it. It comes from the class I taught yesterday. Yeah, yeah. no, that's 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 what we uh, deduce. I almost didn't admit her to the session. <laughs> She's yeah. like, oh, that is. I know. And then I'm like, <laughs> like oh, are that. you neutered? Oh, Yell oh, map gosh. is neutered. Yeah. Uh -oh. then you know why that is? That's yeah. because of the new program. That's the pronoun. And since I didn't put in pronoun, it puts it in that way. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Apparently, it does it that way. I don't know if it does it that way in general, or it only well, does that unused. I don't have pronoun. anything on mine. Oh, oh that does want to be neutered. Yeah. Neutered <laughs> is the default pronoun on Zoom. But you'll be better behaved afterwards, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, people. That's so neutered weird. instead of it. Okay. I'm just, okay. I don't know which is worse. We're getting a little extreme here yeah. now. It's How about gelded. Gelded. Yeah. yeah. It, it 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 is unfortunate that uh, that it has connotations of something less than human because yeah. that would be the perfect thing for it for, for uh, anybody it. where you don't know the actual sex. It. Well, we say they. Yeah. All right, so here we yeah. go. Yeah, but you want it to be want it to be definitely singular. Yeah, they as plural. As but, well, unless good. it isn't. That's it's me, so right? confusing. Don't confuse me with logic. It's people. it's 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 almost like English has ambiguous terms. Yeah. So so somebody you know, return, somebody somebody who I don't know returned my glasses to the professor. They were thanked. See, it's still exactly it's singular. That's yeah. Good. All yeah. right. That's so nice. Thank you for your grammar today. Thank you yeah. for being politically correct. And, and that usage is, goes way back even to Shakespeare. He used it. That's yeah. true. Yeah. I did hear that. Hi, Faith. I see you there yeah. now. Okay, so here we so, go. It's also too bad that thou and thee was got dropped. We should bring them back. <laughs> thou and thee. Thou's like to I play use thy them all the time. Yeah. Oh, like thou art full of shit. I like that better than <laughs> Has oh, that's good, Vincent, and sees all these <laughs> wonderful people. All right, so as we, as I, as I, I'm dying to get to this part because you know I love this part. Janine, Kevin, Peggy, Vincent, Wendy, who are you tonight? That's it. You just saw it. Vincent, oh. laser peripheral mm. iridotomy, and sees all these wonderful people. Oh. That is so oh. nice and so non-political. Thank you. And I want to hear Susan say it. <laughs> you better get to the doctor. I could do it. Vincent had a laser peripheral <laughs> ideal right. autonomy and sees all these wonderful people. I did it. See? In fifth word, right. you, you so stood up at Jane, five. Kat, Leonard, and Ron. Trump is being undone by a pecker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one better. Hill, G Lee, Faith, and Romero, and Gail. I'm not sure Lee made it into the room. No, he didn't, but that's okay. Oh, he's still not here. So it's Trump worries about pecker leaking. Thank you, Bill. Oh. <laughs> oh, good Lord. Let's, you know, can you imagine this kid? He had the worst time in his life growing up with that last name. <laughs> Jeez. Ben, Carolyn, Carl, and Rob. Stormy had a hard time keeping each pecker straight. <laughs> uh, hard time, get it? Cindy, Jamie, Jim, and Kyle. Let's get rid of TikTok. No need for Congress to ban it. Just let Trump buy it and run it. Mm. <laughs> that would work. Well, we just give it to him. Or, or, or merge it with Twitter. Just yeah. give it to him. I like him. that. I like that. That's a good one. <laughs> I wish it happened, too. Leave my TikTok alone, please. <laughs> Not a chance. I don't use it very often, but I do still have it. Okay. So we have Vincent had a laser peripheral iridescent. <laughs> Tree and he sees all these wonderful people versus he sees all the teams with peckers. Yeah, Trump yeah. <laughs> done by a pecker versus Trump worries about pecker leaking versus Stormy had a hard time keeping each pecker straight. 
versus to get rid of TikTok, no need for Congress to ban it. Just let Trump buy it and run it. So we are I, I on think game if anybody would have ever predicted we'd have three teams with the word pecker in them. <laughs> <That'd be shocked. laughs> Season four, April 25th, 2024. We're boy, yeah, this is this is the triple pecker. A triple pecker. <laughs> So we have Peter part of our to pick of pickles, pickles, peppers. Peppers. we have three people for next week so far. So keep that in mind that we would love to have you guys volunteer. And if you want to start volunteering for the following week, you can we can make that happen as well. So that we're always way ahead. I'm going to be doing some traveling coming up here real soon in May. So I'm going to be asking some people to kindly run our um, trivia game while I'm away. So that would be wonderful. I will let you know way in advance when that happens. So I have given powers to everybody already who's going to be here. So I can just sit back and play some game on my phone or something if I want at this <laughs> point. But we're going to start off with Wednesday, Wendy, who's had her her um her category well, it's not ready Wednesday. For it's weeks. Thursday. Yeah, on Thursday, she's had this ready for two weeks. So all right, Wendy, it's up. You're up. Okay. Um, this is going to be a series of really silly. Um, true, false, and multiple guess questions, <clears throat> and I I'm gonna copy and paste them one at a time in the chat, and um and then and then you guys, I I don't know how to send you to your rooms and stuff. Somebody else is gonna do no, that. you'll do it. Don't worry. I what will. is it you're calling your category? What do you mean? What my categories? What's your category? Do you have a title? Do you have a title? It has it. It has no title. It's just so ra random, random trivia category. Random silly stuff. Random, just silly, silly stuff. shit. Silly stuff. Yeah. We say silly story. shit. A silly yeah. stuff. When do you silly stuff? Okay. okay. Random silly stuff. It is. So the current official Hawaiian. We'll put it in the chat though first. So. Oh yeah, it's in the chat. What I don't know how to do. Oh, we like that. there it goes. Oh, okay, there you go. Good job. Oh wait a minute, I did that. I have to. Yeah. How do I delete that? I delete it like this. Okay, you didn't see that. How do I delete yeah. it? You can't. You can't. You can't. We no. we, need to, oh. we need to be honest about it and delete it. Oh no, it I did it. Go. I okay. can do it. Okay, it's deleted. There we go. All right. Okay, so so you didn't see that. No. no, see what? I put a, see a what? number yeah. one and then. All right, let me. That's the question. Did it have the answer, Wendy? Yes, <laughs> evidently. <laughs> but if you weren't paying. I didn't look. I didn't look. I'm okay. playing Jeopardy. Okay. Look at what? what I saw was something about Hawaiian letters. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So the first quest, the first is multiple choice, multiple guess. Number one, the Hawaiian alphabet has fewer letters than the. English alphabet, and the choices are A, 12 letters, B, 13 letters, or C, 20 letters. So then I go get another question, right? Yes. yes. Without copying and pasting the answer. Without the answer. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, okay. It makes so, it really easy if we have the answer. Yeah, all right. So this is, there. I can do this, it's just clumsy. <sighs> It's the same for all of us. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, it's clumsy for all of us. Yeah, actually, I don't have any problem, but that's just me. Because <laughs> yeah. well, I have a multiple screen. Okay. So, last yeah, time multiple I, screen. I have to be honest. That's why I actually put the questions yeah. and into a different documents. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know how to answer this one. Me, me too. Yeah. Yeah. Did I hear it? If I said true, I'm right. If I say false, I'm right. All right, you guys, knock it off. <laughs> Everyone knows that oysters are sexy snacks, but did you ever hear that oysters change gender? Should we change it to do so oysters change now. gender? The, the last, okay. Do Basically, oysters the question change is gender? The last three words, true or false? Yes. Do true oysters or change oh. gender? Yes. So even oh, if I've heard it, it that's okay. not the one you're looking for. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, do oysters change gender? Yeah. True or false? Okay. Mm -hmm. I also don't know that they're sexy snacks because I don't eat seafood. So I don't either. 
So well, everyone, I mean, I always, avoid, always avoid everyone. Yeah. Or no I've heard they're sexy. Yeah. They're slightly yeah. sexy. Yeah. Okay. Let's Supposedly see. they're aphrodisiac. Yeah, apparently, yeah. There. True or false? In cartoons, you always, like, I remember seeing that the, the big bulldogs always had a spiked collar. And, um, and I didn't know why. I mean, I never put a spike collar on a Shih Tzu, but it says um, a spiked dog collars are meant to protect dogs' necks from attack. Uh -huh. True or false? Oh, that's interesting. That's true or false. I never thought about that before. Okay. Um, I just thought it because a dog was into BDSM. <laughs> I'm shocked you know that phrase, <laughs> Rob. That just hurts. He just knows the abbreviation. <laughs> he doesn't know what it means. Just trying to for us oyster. Okay. True or false? Giraffe necks have the same number of bones as humans. There's a lot going on with necks today there, Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> with well, human well, necks, in a row. the whole human body. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's neck and neck. Yeah, <laughs> oh, well done. Okay. Boo. A. Here, this is. Oh. Number five. Taste buds are tiny sensory organs that allow you to experience taste. They're located inside the tiny bumps covering your tongue called papillae. Taste buds let you know what you're eating and drinking and whether it tastes good or bad. This is information, excuse me, this information makes eating pleasurable, which helps keep your body nourished. Your taste buds also alert you when something isn't safe to consume like spoiled milk or rotten meat. What tastes can taste buds detect? So that's a little more challenging. <laughs> Is there like several choices? It, like it gives your team something to, to talk about. Okay, we'll figure it out. And oh yeah, this was a fun one to make. Six, true or false? <laughs> For all you GSOW editors and fans of Cards Against Humanity, <laughs> Cards Against Humanity fundraised for Wikimedia and bought an island and sold pieces of it. Oh, true false. I huh. hope that's true. <laughs> I want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is another silly one. It's super silly. Silly, silly. True or false? Oh. Silly string. Get it? It was a silly yeah. one. Uh, was originally formulated to be a spray-on cast for fracture injuries. True Ooh. or false? That is silly. Yeah. When I get to the part about the answers later, like I've got like, a lot of information to share. It's It's fun. This was, I enjoyed it and I was kind of looking forward to this game. See, everybody be like Wendy. Volunteer to do a category it can be fun. Yeah, it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's another true and false. Ooh. True or false. Um, actually, that should have an eight in front of it. I don't know how to do that. Hmm. All right, pretend there's an eight there. Okay, question eight. Yeah, true or false? The original Star Wars premiered on just 32 screens across the entire, thank you, United States in 1977. It's so amazing what we can do with technology. I mean, I just po pasted that and immediately Wendy saw it. It's just so weird, you know, that we're doing this so, it's like magic or something. Yeah. It is like magic. I mean, like... I remember your email always says that right with a pencil that had no eraser. <laughs> I remember watching Star Trek as a kid where they could see people. And I just thought there's no way that will ever Oh, you happen. mean like the screen, the big screen yeah. they had? Yeah. 
Yeah. You mean Star Wars or Star Trek? Star, Star Trek. Trek. Yeah. They have that big screen that's screen on, you know? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Or now I know it. I, I just want to be teleported. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Teleport me. Teleported instead of getting on a darn airplane. <laughs> Yes, Ice would be cold. Yes, but oh, after yeah. you go through the transporter, are, uh, uh, is that is that you or is or are you dead and that's a copy of you? Yes. Don't think about it. <laughs> Don't get in with a fly. <laughs> You'll never know the difference. Okay. Um, true or false? Alaska is the only state whose name is on one row on a keyboard. Ooh. That's silly. <laughs> Boy, let's see. Think through 50 states. 49, which ones 49 others. <laughs> which ones actually work? <laughs> okay, see. this is 10. This is another true or false. A dollar bill lasts six and a half years, according to the Federal Reserve. Good, good questions. Yeah, and just question to clarify, discussion. that is an American dollar bill you're talking about. Yeah, <laughs> Canadian, Canadian dollar yeah. bills. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. The, the this US is an Federal American Reserve, trivia so, yeah. game. <laughs> well, it doesn't say the U.S. Federal Reserve; it just says the Federal Reserve. Canada has one of those too. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, but you don't have U.S. Where dollar do bills; you have it? loonies. Yeah, I'm in California. It's U.S. Yeah, we US. don't have dollar bills in Canada. Yeah, and we Susan, used to have dollar I bills. I admitted Deborah, so she's going to need a room. Oh, that's right. You don't have a Canadian dollar bill anymore. Just the no. that's yeah. a loony. Loony. Fiber is your a smallest loony. one. Yeah. You have 35 million loonies up there. Thanks, Cal. I'm going to be there. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to Canada. Before we go, I am so excited, yeah. Wendy. Yes, I guess, yes. Carolyn. Uh, I got a message from Lee. He's been he's helping a neighbor with a fence that the cow broke down. So he hopes to be back. Okay. Yeah, the cow Reggie Lee. The wow. I so the cow it. was supposed to jump the cow the broke fence down. Didn't make it, eh? Oh, I could see a cow breaking a fence easily. Oh, oh I can see a cow breaking the fence, but but the cow breaking down. I hate emotional cows. <laughs> oh, <that's sad. laughs> I just can't. It's a bad cow. Is my internet on or something? They're so <laughs> moody. Oh, I hear you. I hear you. Uh, uh, they yeah. are. Well, let's see. Rob, I want to put. Uh, well, gee, if it can't get back. if it can't get over the fence, then it's not going to get over the moon. <laughs> That's yeah. true. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> yes, no. I hear you. No. no, I can't. Why? My, what uh, did you say? I, <laughs> my document went and did some weird thing. Hold on. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it's. It's okay. Let's see. Is it all right? I was trying to put Deborah on a team. She's going to go on team five. So, hey. so, so clarification. Hey. Question, question, clarification for question five. Okay. Are, we break, are we breaking the one answer rule here and asking you're asking for a bunch of things? What? No, I she's asking yeah. for just say one of the things for the taste bud one. No, so do you want one or do you want the whole list? You need the whole list. Otherwise no, so that's like definitely more than one answer. Which one? The taste bud one. Yeah. Just say, just name one. Name one. Rob, um, Rob sometimes you're the rule Nazi and sometimes you're not. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's just... It's kind of like when the Supreme Court has to decide whether an act is an official act or not an official. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, I think that's, I say that's what her good. expectation is. It's a good Everybody knows the yeah. uh, it Well, gee, if it, you know, if the president has immunity, <laughs> could, oh, please, uh, Jim, don't. couldn't couldn't bind it, Biden just okay. Jim, Jim, all right, you know, everybody. Okay, no, Wendy, I'm gonna make Wendy I, I, send people to the say, room, so you guys all shush up. Wendy, uh, just a second. Wendy, I heard you say you need to produce all of the answers for number for five. five. Yes. Oh, wait a minute. Well, let me go back and look at it. I don't think Wendy said that. Phone. Someone else said. Okay, that. I just said Hale what case? Okay. Let, um, name one of the yeah, case. Yeah, there's there's five main ones. So just say name name one of them. Name all five of them. Or do you just no. are you talking about just the one that detects rotten meat and spoiled milk? The I didn't realize that that was confusing. So what okay. I I meant was just the there's five of them, but I didn't write it 
Well, well so, so so the this, point is we've been avoiding that. Otherwise, I could say name all the asteroids. So five, 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 five. So I guess what five? Okay. But I'll add. Can I edit this? No, I can't. So what you're you should not, do when you say my name objection. one of them. Name one of them. <laughs> name one of them. It's possible, one or five. It's, it's, it's possible to follow it and not care. Excuse <laughs> me. Name one is fine. Name okay, one Wendy, is fine. Yeah, it's supposed to be a fun game. I don't care. Yeah, yeah. Wendy, just, I'm going to have you send everybody yeah. to their rooms. How do so, I do that? So what you're going to do room. is go down to uh, where it says breakout rooms. It's four dots or four squares. Do you see that at the bottom? I'm looking. It may be in more. Oh, Karen's here. Ooh, Karen, where did the heck? She's in okay, Mexico. It says, Mute, stop video, security, participants, share screen, AI companion, reactions, raise hand, apps, notes, and then more. It's okay. under more. more. Mm -hmm. Under more. Okay. And then, um, all right. Breakout. And then it's under breakout, breakout rooms. There. Send everyone to their room. And then you get to float around. Open I'm going to go to your room. And Karen will get you a room. Open all rooms, Wendy. I'll put Karen Thank in. You. Okay. Hey. Job, right. Wendy. Awesome. Well, well done, done, Wendy. Planet Earth is Woo! inviting me to your room. Ooh, cool. Susan, Woo! why don't you give us the next person since we're not going to get late? I'm just here to say hi. Hi, hi. Karen. I can't stay. Hola. Hi. She's in Mexico. Oh, that's that's right. I knew that. I'm sorry. Oh, hola. Hola. <laughs> She's so funny. You look so happy. She's, I am in Mexico. very happy. Where in Mexico are you? Uh, Puerto Vallarta, the um, nice. Zona Romantica. Well, I'm going to put you in a room anyways, because we're all supposed to be going. Or you can sit and chat with Wendy. Okay. But they're not going to be short a player because of me, right? No. Mm -mm. Okay, I'll go say hi. Adios. Hasta luego. Okay, so I'm going to my room. One. Only okay. because, Hello, team. Only because Here. I saw it. <laughs> oh, I thought oh. it was 20. Oh, I did you see 20. it? No. I think it's 20. Oh, though. here I am. I'm like counting all the letters that I, I think know. It's I still think it's 20. I don't think it's 13. Is, you think it's 20? Yeah. Because they had six vowel the sounds that combined. Oh, all right. Them, I okay. think. No, it says letters, it doesn't say sounds. No, but some of the sounds combined to into letters, like they combine six of them. Explain what you mean by that. Some of the letters get combined, so they How? use less letters. Give me an example. I don't know, but they use less letters because they combine certain letters to make the way they are a sound differently or something like that. But it's I don't just, think like... it's more than 13. <laughs> okay, put whatever you guys want, but I thought it was 20. I I thought it was third. I thought I saw thirteen. Okay, but... put thirteen. That's fine. We're not yeah. playing for money. Well, th think about Hawaiian words. I you came up with Hawaiian well, words. There's like just mahalo. a lot of vowels. They mahalo use the same the vowels over and over, just like in New Zealand. <laughs> I think this one is true. Wendy, do you know how to jump from room to room? You're on mute, Wendy. Wendy, you got to go back to the more thing. Yeah, no, I don't know how to do it. Okay, so you're going to go to breakout rooms. Hey. Okay. And then there should be on the very right hand side, it should say join room two, join room three. Oh, okay. I'll go there. Just, just don't, it, don't leave the whole game, but yeah. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. Don't go to somebody else's game. Okay. Yeah, the spike dog collars. I don't know. What do you think about that? I think they put the spike collars on just to impress their neighbors. I think it's, it's to make them look because dogs in dog fights, the dog can grab the other dog's neck. They won't do it when there's a when there's a something that hurts. So it them. is to protect their necks. It's during fights. Well, so it's protecting oh, then that's neck. true. I think it's true. I okay. think it might be true. I'm pretty sure it's true, but you know, I wouldn't bet yeah. money on it. You and your money. Uh, That's what I mean. If we, good thing we're not playing for money. I would, I would have a problem Ooh, with this game. We'd have I fights. love the poker dogs. Yes, they do have the same same number of bones. 
Do yeah. they? That's true. I've yeah, heard that before. I've, I've seen that. Giraffes have the same number, even though they're, they have a they're lot longer. more cartilage than we do then. They're longer. I don't they're think that's number. one of Coleman's paintings, though. The the poker dogs behind no, you. No, I only it's put that as a, oh. as a joke for my wife. <laughs> but it's because, cute. Because, because it's the cute. dog in the center looks like my dog. Oh, uh, the dog, we... the dog closest here with a different color would look. Oh, where's my dog? Should we name oh all of the taste buds? No, we just need one, like sour, sour sweet. and salty, sour, bitter, salt, sweet. There's yep. tsunami too. Wait, how come I have? I have. I'm way ahead of us. I'll put sour. Okay, now this is about the island. I vaguely remember hearing something like that. I don't know if it's true. I heard something similar. It sounds I'm like something sure they would do. It might have. It might have changed the like changed a few things around. Cards against humanity. Susan, this is your game, man. I know, but I don't know if they they do strange things. But how would you sell an island pieces of it to? Like you'd have to handle all the paperwork and all that. It's a fundraiser, though. I mean, I guess so. Maybe I they sold like true. little it like pieces it of it. True. Somebody went and scooped up pieces of it and mailed it to people. Hey, I think it's fair that if we want it to be true, we can say it's true. That's it's more true. interesting if it's true. Okay. It's more interesting now, if it's true. Now, where else would she come up with that? Unless yeah, it was but they like didn't that. scoop up you pieces. You can make all they kinds of things. No, up. Susan, they didn't scoop up pieces. They just sold like at least. Yeah, you it's just you got to. You got to. square a, foot. You I think it'd be funnier problem. if they took the pieces, pieces. And oh, that would off. be funnier, but and then they had no island when they were done. Yeah, yeah. That's, <laughs> that would, that be, would hilarious. be hilarious. Somebody chipping off some wood. And, I mean, are we saying silly string was really a cast? I think it was. I think it was for that something. Means everything's practical. true. Is everything going to be true? Would I be. think so. So far, did Star uh, Wars really just premiere on thirty-two screens? Star I didn't count. Yeah, I, I borrowed at a small cinema opening night, and it, mm -hmm. I'd be shocked if it was only thirty-two because the place I was at was so small. So you're but, saying it's false? I don't. I don't know. It could be true, but I saw it at a small theater, and I'm sure we had at I least saw a dozen in filmed. Massachusetts alone. <laughs> Ooh, Janine. So every we, state we had were 10. in Death Valley, and I met R two T two in Golden Canyon. Ah, and and everybody loved him. Like they, his crate was labeled "Employees Lounge," and they doted on him. Like it was, and you know, we figured it's some, you know, second rate old movie. It and could be that they, maybe they had. Oh, a, that's funny. You don't have pictures, do you? Maybe they did the premiere in big cities free. only. Yeah, um, I'm really uncomfortable with everything being true, but it could be. Well, I think well, eight we've is got probably keyboards false. right. I think eight us. is false because, like he said, it it was if he was on a small screen, thirty two is. I mean, it's not well, one. Oh, here's Brandy. Why would it be on a small screen? It's the biggest. No, no, no. It was it was a small theater, like yeah. like a hundred seats or something. Where I went into this in Rainham, Massachusetts, is a very small town, like twenty five thousand people, and they had a cinema with four movies playing. And one of them was Star Wars, opening night. And there was a line of people to get there. My brother had to go see it. We went opening night, the very first screening. And I never saw another one after that. I never saw part two or nothing. Just part one on opening night. Amazing. My brother says, it's like Star Trek, but only better. That's And that's why I went. Uh, amazingly enough, I know that number 10 is true. <laughs> Which is 10? Okay, I just want to say it never lasts me six and a half years. Oh, six uh, and a half yeah. years. Yeah. I seems like it would last less than that. Yeah, the only one I don't like is I think I think um Star Wars could be false, but then again, it could have just been premiered in like major cities opening night, and maybe I didn't see it opening and maybe I saw Ooh. it the next night. You know what I mean? Yeah. How do you know it's, that that's right, Vincent? Six and a half years. You're not even American. I've heard something like that too. It's, it's something. I've, I've, Fifty, and we have I've, all of them. I've, the I've heard years. of them. I've heard of that from a long time ago. Yeah, Just I've heard of it too. You know what I heard? Facts. You know what I heard? What did you hear? It's being recorded. 
What? Fire we're being cows. recorded. Shush! I said cows. So we're going with true oh, for him. I heard. Cows. I heard sheep. I'm gonna be herding cows. I think. Again. Are you comfortable with true for everything? You herding yeah, cats, sure. Susan. You're herding cats. I could herd. I heard cats. Yeah, I do do that, and I did say do do. All right, we well, it out. Back. All right, close all rooms, Wendy. How do I do that? The Susan? opposite. Are, okay, are so the open other up teams ready rooms. though, Wendy? Don't do it just because we're ready. Are they ready? Yeah, there are at least a couple of the rooms. Yeah, I mean, you, I when you do it, it's going to give a two minute warning anyway. Category, yeah, okay. okay so, and then so, they're going to whine if they're not ready, and you'll have to send them back. So, okay, so, okay. No, no, that's that's only for Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Robin's not here. I know, so we can close them. So, Wendy, hit the close all rooms button. It's a bright red button. Under well, the Robin's going to hear this recording now. It's right at the top of your screen. Did there it. you go. She Perfect. Did it. Yep, she got Perfect. it. See, it Wendy, worked. you did it fine. Yay, did it. Oh, okay. Good. Don't be so amazed. <laughs> the thing, it's just fine. The easiest way to be forced Good job. To, to learn around me is don't just say, I don't know how to do it. Somebody else will have to. Do you guys want you me to be it. the recorder of uh, the score? As That's well. so hard whenever it's all true. Sure. If you want, just describe. Yeah. Vincent, can you we stop the, you? You got this. This is your. Uh, speak, right? You can. You can do it. You. You can do it if you want, Peggy. No, I, you're. You're fine. Go. I've go. Got, yeah, stop sharing the screen. But you gotta. You gotta have it on in your end. Yeah. No. I'm playing with silly putty. Oh, oh. look what you have. Silly <laughs> silly an idea silly for trivia. Putty? It's silly There's putty. an idea for trivia. Every answer is silly putty, silly string, silly something. Yeah, All that's category. Silly that would have been silly. Except that now you've given it away. If it was yeah, a mystery. three, four now, weeks now, you'll all forget. Number of I us. will forget that. Susan, Susan let give it a month. None of us will remember that. No, even <laughs> if I said the category is silly. And then I just make sure I have a whole bunch of random questions that have silly in the answer. That's all. Okay. You got to get the rest of the answer. Uh, you know, remind me silly, it would be the big hint. So okay. silly strings, silly putty, silly whatever. All right. I don't so know if I come everybody up with 10 should questions, have some silly putty. I think it's perfect. It's the perfect plaything. <laughs> My brother lost a big hunk of hair from his head because he put silly putty on his head and it came off. What? Ooh, yuck. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're going to regret it. It's a little hot. Yeah, yeah don't. You gotta, you're gonna lose that hair. Squish it in and wait till tomorrow morning. Oh, I don't want to squish it in. And then wait. See up how tomorrow many people morning. notice? I'll put it like that. The like, how's Mexico over there, Karen? I says so, Susan. Yeah. What happened to your nose? Did you hurt your nose with me when you were gone? <laughs> I thought it was appropriate since this is a silly category. I'm using my silly putty. Oh. <laughs> she looks like she's on the Twilight Zone episode. Oh, yeah. I, I have the behold. I'm, I'm going to be beautiful. <laughs> Let me stretch okay. a little more. Hi, Brandy. You actually have silly putty on hand at home. It's right here. It's right there. It's right there. You can't see it. It's right there. Doesn't it's everybody on, have it? 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 Knows. Knows. I got all kinds of stuff here. Caspian brought me back from Norway. Oil. <laughs> what kind of oil? Billy oil. Saga See? petroleum. It's some of the first oil. I, I don't remember you told me. It's written in Norwegian, so I don't know what it says. It says <laughs> something about something about oil, oil, some kind of oil water. I don't I don't remember something. I don't know. It's but medicinal. Right me. Not that I'm gonna it, open it and look at it, but it cures your, cures your your all ailments. To translate. That's probably okay, maybe. Uh Wendy. How do that I was go? Fun. What you got? I have. I, I I don't know how to get back to the um. The answers. Chat. Go to chat at the bottom. It says chat. It doesn't say chat. It well, says maybe it's under stop, more. It says mute. Stop video. Security participants share chat. screen. It'll be under more then, hun. If you don't oh, have it full there. screen, it'll be under more. Chat. Voila! Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. All right. Okay. There's the answer. 
The Hawaiian alphabet has fewer letters than the English alphabet. The correct answer is B, 13. Excellent. And the Wikipedia Good job. link. And um, and then the explanation, and it has something to do with. As I heard one discussion in in one group in one uh, breakout room about all the vowels, and um, but they have like two more than one official alphabet for and the, but then now it it's all consolidated into what makes sense in terms of, of it being another American ethnic language, or at least that's my understanding. Hmm. So. Hard to play Wheel I, of Fortune in Hawaiian. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's and, all, there's only vowels left now. Okay. So, um, <laughs> this is the one about I'll to the buy another vowel. I'll have to buy another vowel. It says, first oil <laughs> from the fields. <laughs> That's what it says. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. True or false? Everyone knows that oysters are sexy snacks, but did you ever hear the oysters change gender? That's a true false. It's they true. do. Yeah, they do. Oysters change true. their gender. Do All they oysters... change gender or change sex? They change sex. Don't yeah, even we, start. We, we had this discussion in our group too. The authority, it's, it, it, the authority that I read said um, it's oneearth.org. I, I, I was joking. <laughs> I was joking. Just... Um, so it says we decided that they, they're born as a male, but they like to wear high heel shoes. So. Yeah. And well, got, and the, there's the pearls to think about too. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, well, that one. <laughs> that was well, good. Wear pearls. Ah, that's funny. Yeah, that is funny. Um, they all start life as male, but most will change permanently to female after about a year. Their reproductive organs produce both sperm and eggs, giving them the capability to change gender. It's therefore possible for an oyster to fertilize its own eggs. And I thought about that, and that sounds like a fate worse than death. <laughs> Once millions of eggs are fertilized, the female discharges them into the water. Larvae develop in six hours, which is sound that sounds really fast, um, and settle into a bed in two to three weeks. And there's the one earth um, link that was my authority to answer. I'll go back now and get the, the next question. What the answer? An answer, yeah. I actually thought that I got that I had clicked on that and got the printed. I don't know what happened to it, but okay, here. Okay. True or false, spiked dog collars are meant to protect their necks from attack. True or false, it's true. And um, let's see. I thought it's just- that, that goes to the wrong place. I'm sorry, I that was not neatly done. It's okay. True? But the answer is true. The answer true. is true. Yeah. That's all that, that's all that matters. Okay. Well, we got it right. That's all that matters. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. We're off for a good start so far. Okay. So, um, so this is, I, I want to try to improve here. Okay. True or false? Copy. <clears throat> okay, and then I'll just take the first paragraph from this.
Okay, I'm getting a little bit better. I know it's hard for you to, guys to imagine, but I'm impressed. I'm impressing myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so true or false, giraffe necks have the same number of bones as a human. The answer is true. And this is from the Cleveland Zoo Society. Even though the neck of a giraffe can be eight feet long and weigh up to 600 pounds, they only have seven neck vertebrae, the same number of neck bones that humans have. But unlike our vertebrae, each of theirs can be up to 10 inches long. These large vertebrae link together to form those famous long necks we all know and love. <laughs> Isn't that well, adorable? I don't love giraffes. Uh -huh. Sorry. I love giraffes. And then they're, they're one of my favorite they, animals. They have interesting eyelashes. Yeah, they're, I tolerate them. And then I there's the and then there's the weird thing about the about this nerve uh, that. Oh yeah, the vagus nerve. Yeah. Yeah. It goes down and wraps around part of their artery or something on their by their heart yeah. and back up again. <clears throat> cool. I like their little knobby things on their heads. I so like we used to work tongues. at the LA Zoo and they um, black tongues are good too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um um I live near Great Adventure and I used to have a wild animal safari so you could drive your car in and we left the uh the moonroof open and it would reach its head in for the banana that we had. Mm -hmm. Oh nice. Happened oh. to me with a camel and a bag of chips through the window. A camel <laughs> stuck his head right in. Because it was so hot, we had the windows open. I had no air conditioning in my van. And he's oh, you know van. what? Okay, we well, start talking about safari trips. <gasps> we literally had a baboon jumped into our tourist van. Oof. South Africa nice. jumped into our tourist van. It got like within like three feet of me and showed its big teeth. And baboons have big, huge teeth, right? Ah. And then it jumped into the back of the van, Damn. stole a, a woman's banana, and then... It shat on the floor and jumped out the window. Okay. Oh, As they would tend to do. Honest, true. <laughs> that's story. awesome. Actually, sounds that like sounds better than my, uh, uh, than my close encounter of the bear kind. It was scary as hell at the <sighs> time. And then the second he jumped out, we were all so scared. And then the second he jumped huh? out, we all laughed. Oh, oh because and he you left you a present. That's awesome. It's so goody. <laughs> Oh my God. And the tour guide was beside himself. It had never happened to him before. He was like, <laughs> and I was actually flying out the next day and I thought, oh shit, I really don't want to spend the night in the hospital with a baboon bite. <laughs> At that great adventure in New Jersey near, near Bob, the uh, so monkeys. So Wendy, you have the question down. You're going to put the answers. Answer. I'm trying to move the rest of the answer, but it's got oh. a lot of words. So I'm trying I'll shut to. Up. Okay. Let's see. Um, let's see if it'll do it. Okay, there. Five. Um, uh, taste buds detect five basic tastes, including sweet. Sweet foods mostly contain some form of sugar. You can read this whole thing. Salty, bitter, sour, and umami. I heard the discussion of umami. And there was a restaurant in Hollywood called umami. And the food was horrible. And then <laughs> and after the IIG meeting, we would go there sometimes and, and have lunch because it was walking distance from CFI West. And I thought, oh, this is going to be this wonderful gastronomic treat. And it failed. Anyway, in my opinion. So, and then here's a little taste bud trivia I'll add. Um, the, the papillae contain taste buds, allowing you to detect, um, five basic tastes and they regenerate approximately every 10 days, uh, 20, I don't understand this 10 days, 28 days or seven years. So it, it's, it, it's a multiple choice. Oh, actually it probably was meant to be a multiple choice. Hi, Karen. Good night, Karen. Bye, Karen. Bye, Karen. Bye, Karen. 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 Thanks for coming by and saying hi. Adios. Bye. Oh, okay. So here's the famous um, GSOW editors and fans of Cards Against Humanity. Um, <laughs> the question was, um, 
I, this is, um, let me see if I can put the whole thing in, if it's, if it's got few enough words. I, okay, it's too long. All right, I need to change it a little or just put a part of it at a time. Okay, so there's the question. And then I will put the answer, which uh, maybe it has few enough. The answer is true. So let's see if it fits. No, it's still too long. Okay, I can do this in segments. So it's copy and it's the private island part. In 2012, Cards Against Humanity LLC fundraised $70,000, equivalent to $92,900 in 2023, for the Wikimedia Foundation. In the company's announcement of this, they joked that the company could have bought a private island instead. Oh. Little Monkey K in the Monkey River Belize. For their 2014 fundraiser, the company brainstormed what gifts could be sent via first class mail, weigh less than two ounces, measure with an 11 and a half by six inches and be really flexible. Remembering their 2012 joke, Cards Against Humanity liaised with the CBRE group to buy a private island. And let me go back here and, and get the rest of the answer. Our team said it was true, so we got it right. Did you know all these details? No. No. It's by, um, okay, so. Is liaise uh, really a verb? Pardon? Yeah, it is. It is, yes. yeah. Oh, inspired God, that's to nauseating. Carpet speak. <laughs> inspired to conserve some small piece of wilderness, raise money for charity, and quote, make people laugh. What a concept. Cards Against Humanity bought Birch Island from the Bedke Fox Family Trust on October 31, Halloween, 2014. The island located near Liberty, Maine, in St. George Lake within sight of Maine Route 3 was renamed Hawaii 2 because, quote, it's the main <laughs> island, <laughs> close quote. Though Google Maps updated the name upon seeing the deed, Cards Against Humanity forewent filing with the United States Board on geographic names because of the time involved and, quote, apparently geographic name changes must benefit the community by honoring a local hero or something, close quote. That sounds so, so Cards Against Humanity-ish. <laughs> <laughs> so that was, that was fun trivia, huh? That was very good. Night? Yeah, it was awesome. I learned a bunch. Some things okay. I didn't even know to ask. <laughs> you now you you've got like this whole cool story to tell uh, or if, if you want okay so the next question is another so is another silly question true or false silly string was originally formulated to be a spray-on cast for fracture injuries i have a little a younger brother and when he was my little brother he when he when we were little and he was he was a little boy. We had friends that had um, this backyard toy that it was. Uh, it, you were supposed to bounce on it, stand up on it, um, and, bounce. and trampoline, trampoline. And and so he he thought he was being cool. He got underneath it, and and put his feet up, and somebody jumped on top of where he was and where his legs were and broke it, both of his legs. Oh, ouch. And that was, he really, and I mean, like he grew up to be a smart man, but he went through that stage. When he was like <laughs> <laughs> so um, did they spray him with silly string? No, but that's what I was thinking of. So when I we know We've all been there. Susan has silly putty at home. Do you have silly string? 
I think this is where her inspiration came from. Okay. So true. And it has a checkered past. The invention of the original silly string was accidental. In 1972, a United States patent was issued to Leonard A. Fish, an inventor, and Robert P. Cox, a chemist, for a, quote, foamable resinous composition, close quote. The partners initially wanted to create a can of aerosol that one would be able to spray on a broken or sprained leg or arm and use as an instant cast. Their invention wow. worked, but the pair had to test 500 different types of nozzles. <laughs> After testing about 30 or 40 of them, Fish came upon one that produced a nice string, which had a which shot about 30 feet across the room. This incident inspired Fish to turn the product into a toy instead of a you know, medical thing. So here's the rest of the answer. I, I'll just post it there. That's really funny. I know. Toys, it's silly. Toys would make a fun trivia category. One of our longtime Christmas traditions when there were a lot of kids in the family was every child got a can of silly string for Christmas and some of us adults too. And after opening presents and eating, we had a huge silly string fight. Oh, fun. That sounds like fun. You know, I haven't seen silly string in, in literally decades. Do they still make it? Carol, it, not in Lodi, it, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, I've evidently not several, <laughs> several videos where they spray it next to birthday cakes and it lights up. It's very dangerous. Yeah. It's uh, banned in Canada, I think. Oh, I know, that's that might be the reason. Yeah. Nonetheless, yeah, it's really fun to spray down your sister's back. Huh. I didn't know yeah. that. <laughs> I think. I'm not sure. It sounds a little silly, but it is silly. I'll, lo I'll look uh, it up. Uh, uh. No, it's silly ban. I mean, you know, come on, people. Anything can be abused. Use, yeah, exactly. Use it appropriately. Uh, but I guess because it's a kid thing. It's yeah, a kid thing know, and it's but, dangerous. But have you ever heard of supervising your children? Uh, oh, that yeah. sounds like work. I've heard of it. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> it's it's happening. I've heard I, of it. I mean, you know, they could oh. swallow, the swallow the silly putty and kill themselves too. Oh, I mean, I, anything can happen. Oh. Your Don't country man is yeah, supervising oh. Susan. Just Somebody needs to supervise Susan. All right, let Wendy move on to the shark wars. Uh, there are people who agree your with that. Old, no, I was wrong. It, it wasn't string. At it's a still birthday party. It's still available here. Thank goodness for that. Oh my god! Uh, so I just googled. I expect you to I just bring googled some next band week. silly string, and a lot of articles come up. A lot of places have uh, different states and whatever. Oh my gosh! You guys are impossible. Go ahead, Wendy. Okay, so I just put the first part of the answer, and um, and it and it, it I put the link, and it explains that for over two and a half decades, enthusiastic fans have related tales of standing in long lines and have recalled in astounding detail their first impression of seeing the original movie in George Lucas's legendary Star Wars saga. Many movie moviegoers remember seeing the movie on opening day. <sighs> Ah, but which opening day? Ah, yeah. Kevin. Yeah, good point. This goes on and on and on, so I'm going to have to post it in segments. Just say that it's. But the answer is true. Yeah, it's true. It's just true. Um, I saw it opening day, but I have a feeling it was not the major opening day. It was opening day for in your where? Yeah. For my my town, my small. Yeah. Town. Was it in May? <laughs> Passage of time has caused many people to forget Susan, that Star Wars, known today as Star we are Wars, both episode to four. The Sunday papers. Hey, Rob, I can hear you. Okay, um, but there it is to read, and then there's one more segment I can add. Um, rather than Star, like because people think of it now as like this big deal movie that opens in a million theaters and everybody goes and sees it the you know like the first week. It wasn't like that at first. And I can remember the the tickets that I had um, were, were a gift. And so my second husband and I and my little girl, we got to go see it at um, Man's Chinese Theater, which I can't. Um, and I can remember my, it was, my daughter was so young. She had heard us talking about Groman's Chinese Theater, but she had learned to read and she could see that it sat on the outside of the theater. It was Man's Chinese Theater and... She said, oh, Mr. Grow must have died. 
So um, I'll see if I can fit the rest of this. It's a, another long paragraph, more than you ever wanted to know, including comparing the opening to Jaws. So it was on the 25th of May, not the 4th. May the oh. 4th. Uh, <laughs> and and that's, the, that, that's the theme of, of, um, of the party for the, for, the, um, for the weekend reason. Yep. Yeah. May the fourth be with you. Yep. So Wendy, you're going to be there then? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that should be yeah. good. Yeah. I've got my my I my second set of, of flight tickets. And because the the first set, I don't travel a lot. I mean, like I go to conferences that are drivable. So this is different for me. And the and so I, I was um I went to AAA, which is what in the United States. You, it's just a auto club. You call it something else. I understand. And um, well, we've got a CAA. Is that it? AJ? Well, there's a BCAA and an AMA here in Alberta. Uh, they just yeah. call it A. <laughs> well done. <laughs> and um, and so they were having me. Um, I I told my daughter, who's a more seasoned traveler than I am. Um, um about the layovers and she said layovers show me where and it was going to be in um in um SeaTac Seattle Tacoma and she said no mom you got to get different tickets because SeaTac is a huge airport and she could just see me as like this little white haired lady dragging this carry on luggage and the and and so I I did I I I was brave. Um, Adrian had suggested getting my tickets from uh, what it was it called West WestJet yeah WestJet mm -hmm. and I did it all by myself online and and I called up and I canceled the AAA reservations. So yeah, it's much better not having to have those layovers and stuff like that. Now WestJet's usually pretty reasonably priced and. Yeah, and so I feel like I'm going on this wonderful adventure, and it's because of my friends that I've made here. Yeah, I'm yeah. glad you're doing it. You're yeah. gonna go scope them out, give it, get some information. Uh, with, uh, Wendy, you're uh, currently somewhere in California, or yes. yes, somewhere in California. Yeah, it's at the San Fernando Valley, which is a suburb of Los Angeles, mm -hmm. and um, and why? <clears throat> okay, it's just. Wondering how far the flight was. <laughs> Three hours. Yeah. Wendy, can we finish your category? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um. So number nine, right. true or false? Alaska is the only state whose name is on one row on a keyboard, and my answer is look down. <laughs> <laughs> we did. We did. We yeah. did. <laughs> and number ten is the last. And thank you for letting me go on and on because I feel like. What do you mean, look down? I don't get it. Look it's at your true. keyboard. Look, look at your, your keyboard. keyboard. <laughs> Try to type all fifty states, and there's only one that you can do on the <laughs> row. I realize now that that was that was just oversimplifying, but it was. It's silly, and it's just a game. It's Come fun. On. That's a good yeah. question. I like that one. Yeah, yeah I, and that's something I never thought about before, and I've yeah. been and hopefully awesome. never will again. I don't. Well, I still don't get it. <laughs> Yeah, the, the the top row QWERTY, you could spell the word typewriter. They said that the typewriter salesman used to do that on purpose. It, if you're oh, typewriter. that's cool. I can see that now. And yeah. then Alaska, that's the longest the, word you can spell out on it too. What, Celia? Yeah. If you're what, typing yeah. the word Alaska on your keyboard on a regular old fashioned keyboard, not texting, a regular old fashioned keyboard, all the letters in the word Alaska are in the middle letter row. Yeah. Right. Yes. Right. And no other yes. state is not the <laughs> yeah. case. I just yeah. don't understand why it says look or, up and so it just means well, look at your keyboard. Do you have your keyboard on your ceiling? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I used it. But, <laughs> but but uh, but go, but, but, but going to the other forty nine <laughs> states to figure out if there's an, if there's another one is uh... yeah I should have re reworded it. Okay, I'm, that I'm, was I'm, perfect. I'm, the yeah. answer is oh, true. I, like I didn't get the look down, down yeah. part. 
All right. Okay. And then the, <laughs> the last one is about the length of um or the length of, dollar bill. Yeah. Before it's too funky to use anymore. And the answer um is true, six and a half years. The lifespan of Federal Reserve notes. Yeah, I was right. Told you. <laughs> yeah, varies by denomination yeah. and depends all on true. a number of factors. Yeah. yeah. And I like it's all, all true. They were yeah. all true. Yes. Or so, yeah, and I and I in the future I'll do this differently. You know, you like don't I'll you have don't to, have to do that though. It's kind of like get us keep us in wondering. Yeah. Make yes. them all false, make them all true, mix them up. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Wendy would oh. never be a source of false information. That's true. <laughs> now, yeah. That is true. She's not deliberately. I mean, I I I am sure I have read now she might to fool us though. All right. Well, good job, Wendy. Yeah. Let's get our scores. Yes. So I'm yes. going to read them off. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. I know you're dying for this because there's several people who join late, don't know the team name. So team. <laughs> That's All true. right. So team number one, Vincent had a laser peripheral. <laughs> I, I do Tommy and sees all these wonderful people. And, and they still don't know the name of that team. That's right. <laughs> what was the score? I couldn't even do repeat after uh, me. We got 10. One. Good job. We got 10, so there. All right. Yeah. Trump is being undone by a pecker. Yeah. <laughs> 10 also. Okay. I think they all got 10. Versus Trump worries about pecker leaking. <laughs> we, we only had nine. The jokes just keep on coming. <laughs> Get it? Oh, 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 I don't oh, think I <laughs> like oh. that. Uh, you're in trouble. Four. Stormy had a hard time <laughs> keeping each pecker straight. <laughs> Ten. Okay. All right, team five. To get rid of TikTok, no need for Congress to ban it. Just let Trump buy it and run it. We got eight. Ooh. Hello. Yeah. Which ones did you did you get wrong? Star Wars and the dollar bill. They were uncomfortable with everything being true. Yeah. Yes. Star Wars <laughs> and the dollar bill. <laughs> Documentary coming in. Difficulty. Yeah. All right. Well done, Wendy. Make sure you get on and do it yeah. again in the next few weeks so that you yeah. will feel fresh about how to do these kind of things. Don't let it go so long. So that yeah. was fun. Make them a little harder because your score was 9.4. <laughs> I, I thought it might actually all be 10. That would have been something. Has that ever happened? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. We've had them all 10. Too easy sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Lighthouses was like that. No. That was all too <laughs> Very good. Okay. So our next team is going to be Cat. Yeah. Yes. Gee. Think we uh, th think think somebody could do a a quiz on dark houses? <laughs> oh yes, no. I can do that next. Uh, <laughs> haunted houses. houses. Oh, I get it. Instead of lighthouses. Oh, that's I get it. I get it now. <laughs> I'm, I'm batting a thousand. Now, last week when Susan was looking for volunteers, oh god, nobody was stepping up, and I said, "Well, if everyone wants me to, I will do another round of Keanu Reeves." Okay. Oh, Nobody else I stepped forgot. up. I forgot to. So I took that to mean everybody wanted me to do Keanu Reeves. However, I kind of think that that's just my bias. And since so many of you turned out to watch me be goofy on Kenny Biddle, that really touched my heart. I will give you the option. Do you want Keanu Reeves or do you want other? We don't know what the other, other is. Is the other Kenny other. Biddle? The other piano, piano. Who doesn't want piano? Who doesn't want piano? I don't know what other might be. Other. It's probably some yeah, but others TV. okay because now yeah, there's be piano 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 Whatever Cat wants to do is great. Whichever one you do this week, you'll have to do another one. The other one in the future, it, anyway. It's pretty impressive that she prepared two. I have two. I do. Have I two, think you so. should do the other, do, so do we can Keanu. study up on Keanu Reeves and be big fans. I don't know it, but I, I don't think. know anything about the other either. Cat, you should do Keanu, so we can't cheat for the next time. Mm -hmm. I agree. Oh, agree. Yeah. Yeah. We'll learn yeah, more. You already got the background and the shirt and everything. Yeah, yeah. Do the <laughs> flip a coin. Like, see, this was all to psych you out mostly because I was always going to do the other category. Which oh, is you bitch! 
There isn't a cat. There isn't a Keanu Reeves category. Oh, oh there God. is. Oh, don't don't make me pull it out because I will. <laughs> ouch! Ouch! And, so and the scores will out. plummet. More pecker humor. I, yeah. I okay. did. Other, other, other. Potpourri yes. <laughs> party mix. Trust me, you want the potpourri party mix. Okay, we're all. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I mean, if you ever category? really do want the Keanu. I will gladly. I like, think just you should do that one because that's just you. But I did ask my brother-in-law and my sister to do the Keanu trivia, and they do watch a lot of his movies, and they couldn't <sighs> get past a five. So, mm-hmm. oh no, that'd be good. We like difficult categories too. No, well, you like difficult categories. Yes, yes. No, no, this we one's not how, like, trying easy. to make us forget Punch and Judy. Hey, we'll right. never forget it because you guys got to bring it up every week. <laughs> All right, yeah, we want that was questions. Mark's idea. You can always yes, blame sir, Mark. ma'am. We want questions. Questions, please. Do you, do you want people muted? No, no she doesn't want to mute it. Hurry up. All right. <laughs> Question one: What was the distress the distress call sent by the Titanic? Silly string. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> not. Question two. Why isn't it putting in my numbers? I apologize. The first one should say number one. Is that is that um, your question? No. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed it in the chat. My apologies. Mine did that a couple of weeks ago. It might be some new Zoom shit. Right? Zoom shit. We hate Zoom shit. So type All right, the word question T-W-O. two. Because I know you guys are loving this. Taylor Swift can- fans are called Swifties. What are Neil Diamond fans called? Oh. Oh. Non-existent. Oh, <laughs> oh. Somebody's gonna oh. Take that you can't that. get that oh. now. That's, oh, that's mean. I love Neil Diamond. Me too. Be quiet. <laughs> if you ever want white people Fighting to sing, you just have to go. Sweet Caroline. Caroline. <laughs> oh, that's Neil Diamond. They do it at every Fenway Red Sox game. Yeah. There you go. Mm-hmm. All right, question three, because I know y'all are hyped up now. For the superstitious, what word is repeated first thing on the morning of the first of a new month? It is said to bring good luck. I only do the bad luck one. Right, me too. (laughs) Which, it's the same every day. It's, you know, whatever expletive falls out of my face. (laughs) Do we ask what the title of this is or is that going to become a parent it's the potpourri, potpourri party, party mix. mix oh po- okay got it got it got potpourri it. party mix got it got it's it that's silly also stuff kind of too. got it okay there's absolutely no theme other than this is a bunch of fun the cat threw together okay, right, right. so there's so no the unifying thing a right. bunch of extra stuff okay all right all right what's the meaning of the word arctic Ooh. <laughs> you mean the source of the and word and it is it is a short answer, so I count it as a single word. Number five, who is the only person who has earned a Nobel Prize in two different sciences? Oh, that's a good one. Me. All of these are good ones. <laughs> I'll give you crap. <laughs> My dreams. <laughs> this one's just for Susan, but everyone should answer. Which country invented bagpipes? <laughs> why susan only get that one because you were had that before. and i thought i'd call you out <laughs> i've had this before yeah <laughs> like putty picks up writing look at that it, yeah, oh, you I just discovered this no i that remember was this from my childhood we used to do the comic strip and then yeah. stretch them out of shape yeah All right oh that's an idea question seven which country is credited with having the most time zones? Oh. I know you love these. A current country, correct? Yes, yes. It's still in existence as our fortune cookies. <laughs> <laughs> Which is question eight. Where did ah, fortune cookies originate? Why were we why, why, why bringing up fortune cookies? Because I'm keeping you attentive. So oh, number eight. How precise do you want that? Yeah, do you yeah. want a city? Do you want a country? What's the where mean? Uh, and the, the uh, country. Earth. Country. Earth. Country. Earth. 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 Milky Way galaxy. Galaxy. <laughs> far, far away. 
local group. Question nine, and this is what makes him the coolest president in my opinion. And this is for America. What prank did President Coolidge repeatedly play on the Secret Service? Hmm. <laughs> now that's good. I gotta know the answer to that. Well, you will in a few minutes. Whatever it was, and I'm sure the Secret Service person have loved it because that's the way they are. They just yeah, they love right? it. So. <laughs> big big of, sense of know, humor there. Yeah. All the time or what? Just put whoopee cushions down. <laughs> hey, no spoilers. <laughs> I'm so jealous of Malia and Sasha Obama because Secret Service taught them how to drive. And my mother taught me how to drive. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'd much rather have the Secret yeah, Service. Yeah, can you imagine how awesome that'd be? They, right? they, they could so they get cool. to go around corners really fast. And, it's so uh, cool. Invasive. And... Uh -huh. All right. Last but not least, who was the first feature length movie Disney princess? Oh. Are there any questions? Nope. nope. Are there any nope. Answers? How come you're asking a American question there with Calvin? Because Cooley? I love you and I didn't want to torture you because you touched my heart on Friday. Oh. <laughs> Cause I love you. That's why Aww. I'm being nice. I got that recorded. I know. And That's and look at awesome. I, I can be nice. I choose not to most of the time, but I can be nice. <laughs> You're going to meet Wendy in person. <laughs> I know I can't wait. That's going to be so awesome. She's well, really nice. I hear that. Wendy's really nice. Okay, I finish our room. I think that's true. You've, You've all been, been very naughty. Up. Go to your room. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Okay. <laughs> Here comes canoe. That, what was that supposed to be, Susan? That was canoe. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, was it SOS? No. Was it something, something? It's something else. Oh, damn. What is it? Oh, it's, C, it's CQ something. I forget what it stands for. Damn it. Okay, I know number three. I actually know it. I do it right. every month. <laughs> All right, we'll we'll jump ahead. What's number three? Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. I thought that was for um not good luck. And it I thought that was for I didn't know you anybody else did that. I read it in a Trixie Belden book. I my my um my mom did it. It was a family thing. My mom, my grandparents, the cousins, and it it's just a little family thing. It became a little. Oh, I had thing. never heard of any. Yeah, else yeah I don't that. know. Yeah, I didn't know the origins or whatever, but we just always like did it. And I actually, um, a cousin of mine, uh, ever the first of every month, she posts a picture of rabbits on Facebook and says and writes rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. <laughs> I heard oh, interesting. Facebook entry the first of every month, and I always think that's kind of cute because she has she pulls out some really cute rabbit photos. But we also happen to have a pet rabbit when I was a kid. Oh, but anyway, rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. rabbit. I don't know what the origin is or why, but um, it's just a little thing. But you're supposed to say it before you say anything else. Yes, and yeah. it, it it has to be the first words out of your mouth. The first words out of your mouth. And so, and the tricks of my husband a few times when I'll I'll wake up and remember it's the first of the month and I'll say rabbit rabbit rabbit. <laughs> Usually I wake up and say I love you to him, but occasionally on the first I'll oh, go funny. rabbit rabbit first. In the book uh, that I read, said, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Jean. Well, she says the what word is repeated, and so I just wanted to oh, add. Oh, okay, that be, makes sense. Did it rabbit. Be just rabbit. And we've had yeah. this conversation, so it is three, but yeah. I can't imagine she could be that nitpicky, but yeah. Well, it, what is, word yeah. is repeated? And the yeah. answer is rabbit. rabbit. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Number but four. But so number twice. number four is bear. Oh, really? In what language? I don't know, but Arctic means with bears. Antarctic means without bears. Oh, I didn't know that. Right. You know, I've heard this Neil yeah. Diamond one too. Maybe you know, that, that, that was that was worth coming just to learn that. I it, I'm so that, excited to know that. The Neil Diamond one is Diamond Head. That sounds right. Did we have that, that question good. before? 
Jane, I think we have. I think we have. You know, the funny thing about that, Celia, about the rabbit thing is that we, I was always told you can only do it on the months that end in 31. Oh, really? So, you, so, so you Variations go 31st, the then mm -hmm. at the very last, the first thing you say on the first. And otherwise it brings bad luck? And no, but it was supposed to be a wish <laughs> and not good luck. It was a wish. If you said rabbit. Rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Rabbit, on rabbit, rabbit. On on you the got your first wish. day of the days. month after a 31st. It and you know what uh, you know what the wish is that you start your month by saying rabbit. <laughs> oh, I thought the wish would be that we, you could have supernatural powers to say a word that would bring you good luck. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Cool. Um, number one is CQD. Oh, you remembered it. What? Yeah. Why would they do that? What and that's it, uh, so I remember the D because it's distress. I and don't, but I still don't remember what the other ones are. Cool. C. Um, you. I think five. I know what number five is. Oh, go ahead. Is that Marie Curie? It that's sure what is. I was say. Yeah. And what are the and what are the two sciences? Chemistry and physics. Correct. Yeah. Ooh. Gosh, that is so cool. Okay, so I think it's Ireland. I think, it's, I think it's Greece. It's much older. I would have said Scotland, though, not Ireland. Well, you know, I think that would, in de terms of the Greek, I think that would depend on how you define bagpipe, because uh -huh. Greek does have an, an instrument that they call something else, which is, you know, with a made sort of out of goat skin, you know, and right. you go air into it and you make, you know, all that. You, Otherwise, then it's a bagpipe. And you play, yeah, whatever. But it, they don't call it a bagpipe, obviously. Well, it's because the it language probably is, is Greek. It, it yeah. probably is something like Greece then, or some. There are some other like parts that. of the world that that have similar things too. They're like, they're like, there's uh, in the Baltics. They have they call it um, uh, guta or something like that. That's basically a Baltic bagpipe. Right, but those uh -huh. countries are newer than Greece. Fair enough. Yeah. I just don't, you know, I could say some, hear somebody nitpicking. Well, that's not really a bagpipe. It's a blah, blah, blah. blah but okay. yeah, wow. Well, is is seven Russia? I think so, isn't it? That's that was huge, my thought. Huge I land. think that they've only got one time zone. Or is that China? Well, see, I was thinking of the former Soviet Union. That's why I actually asked the clarifying country. Right. Question, yeah. A current country, because the Soviet Union, of course, was humongous. How much? How big is Russia now? I'm not sure. It's so big, but well, I mean, it's, it's it still contains big. Siberia, so it's huge. Yeah, it's much wider than well, the U.S., many... which has four time zones. So right, and Canada has at least five, right? Four and a half. <laughs> oh, I thought maybe. Oh, I thought it was well, Atlantic time yeah. zones half an hour off. Okay, it's still another time zone, but it's another time zone. Yeah. Um, I think Russia right. is still wider. Russia now, are we going to include international territories? Well, yeah, if it's a different time zone. Yeah, so well, then it's got to be France. <gasps> oh, that's French so Polynesia. True. That's right. That's, that's French, true. French Caribbean, French yeah. Africa. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. it's got to be France. Ooh, that's a trick question. Ooh, I like it. <laughs> and we can argue that one to death. All right. You know, and and it wouldn't be Britain because they don't have so many colonies anymore. Yeah, they got yeah. rid of them. Fortune cookies come from San Francisco. That's what oh, I that's right. Wait, 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 wait. I thought I always heard that when I grew up as a kid since I was from the Bay Area. But then I thought actually in a past trivia thingy or or maybe it was some other trivia something I attended or read or something that they were from Japan. Or it, came, I... it came up in one of them there and it was a surprise answer. But I think yes, the surprise I answer was it was San Francisco and not japan or china is that Rob, right? Rob I Palmer has just asked for help which question do you think he's got a problem with all of them all of them <laughs> i'm gonna find cat i'll send her to his room she's here cat what do you need my dear rob rob wants help in room four he's I'm asking right. question. yeah give him the wrong answer um <laughs> what which question it is you know answer? if we wanted to be on the safe side she said we only have to say the country not the city and we could say the u.s well yeah I think, but if, yeah. if it's if it's the u.s I think it's, it's san, san francisco. francisco 
Well, I think so too, but but we still should say the U.S. Right? I think we should say the U.S. and yeah, because if all of the other San Francisco Kansas, we're okay. <laughs> but I, what was I thought? I thought that there was something about it being Japan, but I guess maybe that was that was the wrong answer or something. Never mind. Um, okay, what prank did I have no idea? What could that be? Whoopee cushions. I think he had like a bunch of buzzers and he would press them all at once to mess th to mess people up. Seriously? Buzzers. Yeah. To get their attention. Uh, to, or... to, to call to you know, call for different things. Like um, but that doesn't coach. sound that's so that doesn't prank. no, that that's 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 more modern. Um, but that wouldn't be specifically on the Secret Service. So he probably <laughs> had some some emergency call or something that he, he had a fake bomb. Is he, the, <laughs> is he the president that held his dog by his ears? No, yeah, that, that was, was uh, no, that was uh, Lyndon Johnson with his Great Dane. All right. Victor Borg did a whole joke about the fact that he picked it up and called himself a Great Dane. How would you pick up? No, oh, anyway. He just what would could lift the, the ears up. Would be what could that be? I don't know, but you know, I'm guessing that the first Disney princess was Snow White. I think you're right. 100% sure it was. Yeah. yeah. I'm just guessing, but I feel confident with that guess. What prank did Calvin pull the Peter first in the feature season? length movie Disney princess? Yeah, yeah it's got to be Snow White. White. Yeah, Snow White was an early Disney movie. Yeah. What prank would that be? Oh boy. Well, we haven't come to our time limit yet. Let's see. Maybe he hid. He played at hide and seek. Would he do false distress signals or something? That seems really mean. Because isn't that what the social secret service does? I mean, respond yeah. to distress. They dodge bullets and stuff. Yeah. Um, well, they don't dodge them, they jump into them. Yeah. yeah they I jump in front of them. What that would be. I mean, these days it would be, be, you know, calling in a bomb threat. Yeah, I don't think it would be. Uh, Swats them. Some kind of false, false alarm. Is that good enough? No, probably. It should be more detailed, huh? So whose category is this? What, what, uh, what, what year was he president? Yes. He was what? Wasn't he right after Wilson? Well, what, like or, what? Or is that Hoover? Years. What, what was it? So I'm trying to think of what the technology was that was available to him. Well, he, let's see, Hoover was right before Roosevelt because he was in the Depression. Well, we better come up with something. It's the, in the early part of the century, anyways. Yeah, yeah, early. Early part of the last century. Last century, yes. <laughs> Um, the the end of the last millennium. Yes. Yeah, I I'd say um, some kind of false, false emergency. That just doesn't sound good because, but I can't think of anything better. Maybe he lay on the ground and pretend he was dead. <laughs> Whatever he did, it was me. He faked heart attacks. So. He he called in bomb threats to. Himself. He smeared himself with ketchup, and pretended to be shot. Had they invented? Ketchup I'm sure that'd that be point? really funny. Yeah, hilarious. Um, when was ketchup invented? I can't think of. Um, God, I'm trying to think of something that's not quite so serious, something a little more lighthearted, but. You know, like, you know, throwing water on them or some, I don't know, the old falling bucket or the whatever. But that doesn't sound very Secret Service worthy. Right.
sounds mean regardless yeah you wouldn't want to do something that pranks are not very nice not especially oh maybe he made life. i know what it is he made pie out of zucchinis and told him it was apple <laughs> we've got almost five seconds oh i don't even see a timer yeah oh yeah well, won't see it in a second bye -bye. okay you stumped us on at least one better yeah. than a keanu round well, I don't know. Think, we'll see. Uh, we're going to get a 10. <laughs> I like that kind of confidence. Ah. <laughs> Somebody might get a 10, but not us. <laughs> <laughs> no. I loved, loved, loved hearing people's answers to number nine. Number nine? Yeah, that's the, one we're the, stumped on. The prank. Love potion number nine. <laughs> I think if nobody gets it, Everybody oh, should tell one. me the prank I... that they ended up on, and then we we'll might decide who gets points. We want to hear all the pranks anyway because we may need to use them ourselves, right? Oh, whenever the Secret Service handles this, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> all right, so what was the distress call that the Titanic sent out? PDQ, CDQ. CQD, ah. Which does Indeed. not mean come quickly drowning. It is actually ambiguous. But SOS wasn't widely used internationally until after World War II. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that. So it's CDQ. So we were. I thought off it was CQD. CQD. Look, CQD. it's right in the chat, is wrong in my face <laughs> because I'm dyslexic. Okay. Why, yeah, why CQD. Why well, would it CQD? It certainly wasn't quantum chromodynamic, Leonard. <laughs> why why right, would they QCD. use those three letters? <laughs> That CQ, was was the all, okay. all, CQ was the all stations uh, attention, and D mm. is distress. Distress. Mm. And if anyone saw James Cameron's Titanic, uh, the captain goes over and says, send the CQD. Mm. Mm. Well, it didn't work. Yeah. So, Swifties versus Neil Diamond fans. What are they called? Diamond Heads. They are diamond heads. Hey, good guess. They are diamond heads. I think that came it. after the parrot heads. Yes. Yeah. Uh, no, actually, it preceded it. But uh, did it? Wow. Think, they should call uh, them diamond elves. Oh no! <laughs> Everybody knows diamond head in Hawaii is and all that. But it's here's a, a here's another trivia question: What sport did Di Neil Diamond participate in college? Baseball. Isn't it? He was a saber fencer. Oh, wow. Good. Nobody would have got that. What do you think, Trivia? All right. What word do you repeat on first thing in the morning on the first day of the month? Rabbit, it's, rabbit, rabbit. It's <laughs> rabbit, rabbit, rabbit. Do that besides oh, Celia and I. Why? Why? Has, why, has why, anybody why? else heard of it? I want to <laughs> know if anybody no else knew that besides idea. Celia and I. But my family, my family, it was a little family tradition. Carolyn, well, Carolyn knew it. According Carolyn to the it? Farmer's Almanac, the phrase goes back at least to 1909 when what? a British periodical featured a girl who said rabbits on the first of each month for good luck. The Celts thought rabbits could communicate with the spirits since they burrowed underground. Oh, President yeah. Roosevelt rabbited every month without fail, according to the Nottingham Evening Post. I so thought President Roosevelt. Dalton thing. It's Roosevelt. Well, I'd have to go back and look this thing up. Well, it's 1935. It's, it's 1935. probably FDR. Uh, FDR. Yeah. All right. So <laughs> number four. I know a number of teams got this or something close to this. Arctic comes from the Greek arctos, meaning bear. Wow. Antarctic, <laughs> therefore, means oh, no I bear. That and Ben remember that. Where are I the knew it was something bears? like that. Where are no polar bears? Didn't oh. know what it was. Oh. Uh, uh, no, actually, it's where the uh, arctos uh, minor, or ursa minor and ursa major are the, uh, <laughs> in the sky. No, it's totally about polar bears. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's well, anti penguins. The, right? the tail of Ursa Minor is the polar star, so. <laughs> that's so cool. I just think that's a really I, cool thing to I learn. I have my bear. I'm glad I came tonight just to learn that. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't think it was right, but we were willing to go with the shape of an arc. Like, mm. 
Oh, that's you know, a really there. good. That's a really good guess. <clears throat> that was a good guess. Yeah, it was wrong, but it was a good guess. But it's a it really a good, guess. good guess. You should get some kind of A for effort on that guess. Yeah, but if I gave that yeah, no way on my team, it would be called. If we can get an A, but no point. That's fine. A. 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 You a. got an A. A Canadian. Spelled E H. Question. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Canadian. Canadian have... is the only person to earn a Nobel Prize in two different sciences. That's Marie Curie. Marie. Is it? Marie. <laughs> It's not Donald Trump. Mary. No. <laughs> in physics in 1903 and chemistry in 1911. Oh, oh, cool is oh, that? I thought it was chemistry and medicine, but okay. All you needed to know was it was Marie. All you need to know. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. <laughs> That's the wrong song. All right. This one, hotly debated, which I loved. Bad <laughs> pipes. Where are they from? Bagara? India. No. India. India. We put yeah. Greece. Bagpipes are believed Egypt? to have originated in India more than 3,000 years ago. Various wow. shapes and sizes of bagpipes have existed in many countries dating back to ancient times. They were first attested in Scotland around 1400. What a weird okay. thing to have uh, created. There are I mean, pictures you know. of bagpipes uh, in the hieroglyphics in Egypt. How does that, you know, 1000 BC versus 3000 BC? Aliens. Those were just really bad drawings. Of yeah, there's also pictures <laughs> of UFOs, so I wouldn't go with that. <laughs> Aliens did it. Some of you got this next question right. Which country is attributed the most time zones? It is not Canada. It is France, including oh, its what? overseas what? territories. Uh, what? It has the wow. most time zones with 12. France. 13 if you include have colonies in Africa and oh, the Caribbean. Oh, poop. I've been what? to the French Caribbean and there is still yeah, okay. Africa. Got it. I am really surprised. And French well, that's Polynesia. That's what this was all about. Mm -hmm. French Polynesia, yeah. Yeah, so that's a lot of time zones. Do you know that's how many? A lot of time zones. You know how many? It says right there, 12, 13, oh, including its claim in Antarctica. It's claimed for the counts. place without bears. Yes. Right? There's no bears. Nobody counts. <laughs> Wouldn't Antarctica have all of them, though? Exactly. That's why it's the answer is 12. Nobody counts that. 12, 12 is But good. wouldn't it have 24 in Antarctica? <laughs> yeah, no. but because it's all, it's all it's a station one. on Antarctica, not the whole continent they're claiming. Yeah, the, well, the whole continent is one time zone. Oh, okay. even 12 is pretty what? impressive. Oh, they broke it up that way? Seriously? Yeah. No. It's interesting it's that, it up in the... that so it's like France, the really <laughs> colonial power out there, huh? So if you're in Antarctica off Argentina and then you go all the way around the 180, it's the same time zone? Yep. That's bizarre. That's how the clocks are frozen. Nobody lives there to complain about it. <laughs> not even bears <laughs> all right where were it. fortune cookies invented where did they originate san francisco treat japan it's a japanese cracker called sujira senbi which translates to fortune cracker can be traced back to the 19th century in kyoto yep. This cracker was made with sesame and miso and contained a small paper fortune tucked inside its folds Hmm? The, the last time we had this question, arrived the in the was USA San Francisco. With no, the I last remember. time we had this yeah. question, because I did it, it was Japan. Japan. It was, oh, was Japan it? the last time too. And, yeah. and, and yeah. it was and it was vigorously yeah. denied That's what by I those said, of us that live near San Francisco. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. what is it this time? <laughs> It's, it's still Japan. 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 I just was thinking it was Japan. So, so, the, so well, the Canadians think it's Japan. Japan even though the, it is San Francisco. And the Californians <laughs> think it's San Francisco. Do, do you see what's in my answer? That oh Japanese immigrants who came to Hawaii and California between the 1880s and, and 1900s likely are what brought it to that culture. Uh, which is why you think it's from California when it was the Japanese immigrants who brought it. Uh, well, that's, a, that's, a, told that's an excellent... Uh, mm -hmm. rationalization still wrong. Thank you. <laughs> and, and, and did you that's know that the, California rules were invented fortune in cracker. We're talking about the fortune cookie. <laughs> right. 
Alan's here. <laughs> and I think that I just is, let him in. That is that is the <laughs> thing that I, I actually knew this was going to be contested because of what happened before. And that's exactly <laughs> right. It mm -hmm. it was a Japanese cracker and it became the cookie when it was in San Francisco for sure. But that's like biscuits and cookies, depending on where you live. So we wrote the whole actually, answer saying that it was a vision in Japan. Our all answer was San Fran by way of Japan. Or did yeah. they stick on the fortune go. with a with a thumbtack? By the way, there, I saw they a keep the fortune on a cracker in, in with, a restaurant with in cut and providing. Let Gail talk. I saw a sign in a restaurant in Beijing, and it has across the sign in Chinese. It says we have genuine American fortune cookie. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, California rolls were invented in Vancouver, Canada. So there you go. Oh, oh, no. And burritos were invented in LA. <laughs> and buffalo chicken was invented <sighs> in Buffalo, New York. There you go. There's All a right, great, so, there's a great paragraph Kat. in a, um in a, one of the Amy Tan novels. Oh. I, I can't remember which it was about a uh, Chinese woman working in the in the um in the fortune cookie factory in Chinatown in San Francisco. And initially, she didn't know what she was making. And she's like, you know, what is this crazy American thing? And someone was said, oh, well, it's, you know, these these Chinese fortune cookies. And she's like, this isn't Chinese. This is <laughs> anyway, it's a it's a it's a it's a fun, it's an amusing passage. Time to go on to the sorry to the kitten in front of me uh, to the practical jokes. Coolidge. President Coolidge amused himself by ringing an emergency alert bell and then hiding on the secret service. So if we said called false emergencies, that's good? I Didn't would he give call that all to of them? He called everybody. Oh my God. Why would somebody do that? Because he would hide in the closet time. and didn't jump out and go boo. <laughs> I mean, he could get himself shot. Apparently, he yeah. never heard the story of the boy who cried wolf. <laughs> seriously i think I on a slow tuesday that's hilarious didn't he just call everybody at the God's same sake, time don't let trump know about this yeah, really oh geez <laughs> please let him be accidentally shot by the secret service <laughs> yeah. well, accidentally in in parentheses yeah. in quotes cat's, yeah, cat, cat's uh, tail he's like i would like food it's past your break time Oh, so the, the Disney princess, there was one that was in a short that nobody's ever heard of who was technically the first Disney princess, which is why I specified feature length movie. And that was Snow White. Yes. Yay. 1937. So, so there was one really, before her that wasn't in a movie. Who was that? Uh, her name was Persephone. And it was also in 1937, but she was in a short. So if so, I got one out for Sweetie, I thought, are, we, are we talking about the length of her skirt? <laughs> if I had persuaded my group and I had really pushed on that Japanese fortune cookie, we would have gotten oh. 10. <laughs> Ooh, well, let's no, go to Sweetie. No, we only would have gotten nine. We all did. It's a hey, Japanese remember that you got Alan on here. With tape. So you guys, we have, silly putty. we have to put Alan on the team that is losing so just we're, we're, I'm, I'm always on the team i'm always on the team. team that's losing whether i'm here early or <laughs> we're going we're going to get alan i guarantee it hold on hold on <laughs> i'm just copying feel, over the answers here your pain, and don't forget to share your screen <laughs> yes ma'am i get in trouble if i don't do if i, I don't follow the rules that i created it it <laughs> threatens the structure of the space-time continuum oh i know it's I scary know. okay mm. so um, to get rid of TikTok, no need for Congress to ban it. Just let Trump buy it and run it. We got five. Okay. Ooh, the high school. You're in the lead. Trump worries about Pecker leaking. We had eight. Not yeah. getting Ellen. Now you're in the lead. Vincent had a laser peripheral irritomity and sees all these wonderful people. You got Three. Oh, that is bad. Ooh. Except you're tied. Four. We didn't get four. Uh, no, I well, thought we got three. It Let depends on whether our answer for the oh the prank, yeah, Coolidge prank, yeah, was acceptable or not. I'm not what sure. Was it? it was not. It was. Well, I asked, and no, no one answered my question. Well, what was your question? We said he he came. He called everybody at once. 
My kid pushed all the buttons at one time for everyone to come running. No, I'll give you we points didn't for that. have him hide under his desk. No, I give you points for that. Come oh, okay. Well, then we got four. Seriously, did I give him that point? Yeah, I'll give him that point. Oh, well, wow. they just all right. have a chance of getting. Just remember, Alan. Cat loves us all. We didn't want <laughs> Alan after all. Don't want to yeah. hide from Cat. Goddess of forgiveness. Him. All right, Stormy had a hard time keeping each pecker straight. <laughs> Seven. Yeah, that's what I got. Yeah, seven. Okay, Trump is being undone by a pecker. Eight. Ooh. All right, Ooh. Alan, you are on Ooh. this team down here. What? Oh. I thought oh, it was wow. we didn't get the... Now we missed... Gre we had Gre Greece instead of India. Oh, you're right, you're so right. Your you're right. guarantee okay. was premature, Vincent. You were not yeah. in last place. All right. I, feel, I still um, wish I pushed on that Japanese crack. You know what? Yeah. I'm, Don't glad, to us. I'm glad I was wrong. Okay, everybody, let's take a picture. Oh, oh okay. yeah, I have a prop. I have a prop. <laughs> Did everybody bring their prop? I don't yeah, know. You I'm not going to get out of here. I have my crypt in there. I don't have. Well, I, 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 well, I, I've got a hiking bow. I can put my silly putty in my nose again. I have a pair of socks. I'm very proud. Oh, look. This. Oh, she's got artichoke. Hey, my neighbor got artichoke. artichoke, artichoke, and artichoke. Okay, Perfect everybody ready? Artichoke. Hey, my my is the best, I can't find it. It's the best vegetable gardener in the whole world. Oh. And look at this wonderful, perfect, organic California artichoke. It is okay. lovely. Everybody I ready? I have asparagus, but I'd have to run get it. We've One, been ready. two, three. Mark brought home 11 pounds of asparagus today. Oh my and God. I, and, I, and I texted my neighbors and there, and I had three of them descend on us like within a few minutes to get the extra. Oh, I love Isn't asparagus. Isn't it called asparagus? <laughs> 11 pounds? In I don't know. Manny. How much that's worth I'm not here? into it. That's, that's not pronounced asparagus. Yeah, that's not some fortune asparagus. It was a yeah. lot. All right, five minutes, y'all. Okay. Anyway, okay. I'll. Eat. Signing out. Bye. Bye, Jim. Bye, Jim. Bye, Jim. Bye, Jim. Bye, Jim. Bye, Jim. Bye. Yeah. I gotta go. Bye, Vincent. Vincent. Bye, I found Vincent. my prop. Bye, Vincent. It's nice oh. for you to see me. Oh, <laughs> yes. that's bad. <laughs> it is nice. <laughs> that's bad. It is. Okay, I'm leaving the game running. Hey Ron, no. Should we should we, uh, should we invite you to uh, Mars' ninetieth birthday? Do you want to come? You can invite, but when is it? Uh, beginning of June. I can send an invite. I don't know if we're going to be able to make it, but uh... all right, I'll I'll try and remember. I, I didn't think you would. So, by the way, do you know if Big Brother is back in Toronto yet, or is, uh, is he still down in Florida? No, try, oh, try they, they, that was Florida. No, they're in uh, they're in it, uh, Denver. Denver. Okay, I figured. I guess I called there to wish him a one month belated birthday because I didn't have his number in Florida. And you call him and wish him a chag sameach. And I did that too. Of course, no, I, don't I, got, think I, I got a text from Miles. So ah, okay. What they didn't go to Kingston for uh, for uh, Pesach? And, and that's a very sore spot. Oh yeah. I was going to ask him how the bar mitzvah went. What do you call it? Karma? <laughs> it's a bitch. Yeah, my heart bleeds for them. Yep. And it's in the mail. Oh, that's good. You can have the hawks. Yeah. Does anybody watch the walk the the Walking Dead? I don't watch it, but I was wondering if anybody does. Well, I was noticing that on on the um on the trivia game last week with with the TV themes, themes theme songs. Some of them I had no clue, never heard. 
No, I the, just noticed. The um, shows I just watch over and over again, and then I don't become familiar with all of you know with a lot of them. They're filming a new version of a new, I don't know, the next season of The Walking Dead <clears throat> in my old hometown where I grew up. Oh. There, there's a company, uh, you probably heard the name Reed and Barton, it's called. They make silverware. It's a famous silverware. They're out of business now, I believe. But um, the big deal that they made was um, they had this patent. Uh, I forgot what it was called, but it was like, the president used used to eat from uh, Reed and Barton silverware. Oh. So when my mother worked there, like half the city I grew up in worked, it was a big factory. And they had uh, a big deal when President Nixon bought this new service, all came from Reed and Barton. So it was, my mother worked there. Oh, Reed and Barton. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you're t you're speaking it with a Boston accent. Yeah, Reed and Barton. Mm. So Reed and Barton <laughs> is is the reason the city I grew up in is called the Silver City. The nickname oh. for Taunton, Mass, is the Silver City, and it's also known as the Christmas City because they decorate the 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 green downtown. They decorate it every Christmas. They make a big deal about it. But anyway, it's called the Silver City because there was two major companies, Reed and Barton and F. B. Rogers Silver. They were in the same town. And Reed and Barton made all the silverware for the president, starting from Nixon, I think. Anyway, now the factory's closed down and they're filming The Walking Dead in the old buildings, in the parking lots. There's all trailers and all the people and the actors. So all my friends and family that live near the area are all excited about it. Oh, the actors are in all these all these trailers set up in the old pocket. And it looks like the company's open again. There's so many cars there, you know, oh. filming it. So the next episode, I'm going to, when the series comes, I'm going to have to watch it just to see the, uh, the, the city. Mm -hmm. I don't watch the show at all, but I'll start watching it just for that reason, just to see these, the city and the buildings and stuff. What show is that? The walking dead. Oh. I don't watch it, but it's being filmed. The next series is in my hometown being filmed. Is that Deadsville? It's um, I don't know what it's called, but <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm I know joking. what you mean. You make it fun of my sound. No, it's the <laughs> they're still city. they're still doing The Walking Dead. I thought it was over. Well, they're doing another season. The the original show is done. The first spinoff is done. There are two spin uh, the third sixth spinoff is done, but there are two other spinoffs still in production. Oh, okay. I. Yeah. Forgot which season I walked away the, from. The, just, but okay, we're done now. So the, the Maggie and Negan show is still going, and the uh, Norman Reedus in France show is still going. Okay, yeah, I never saw those. I <sighs> I forgot which season it was when I. It's called it. Walking Dead, Dead City. Okay, that's You're that's pretty... the Maggie Negan one in New York. Okay, so you're pretty close there, Leonard. Pretty close. Dead city. There is a lot of, I live um, in the San Fernando Valley and there are a lot of studios right around my neighborhood. And uh, my late partner worked for Universal and um, and so he he showed me like what to watch for. And the different trucks have different stuff in them. Like some of them are wardrobe. And then there's some that have portable bathrooms. Those are called honey wagons. Mm -hmm. And um, and then they, the craft service, which he was a craft service guy. Um, they have a setup for snacks so that they make coffee in the morning and they do shopping and they bring bagels and, and instant oatmeal and fruit for the um, different people. Uh, crew but then the cast has a separate catering which will come at lunchtime or whatever meal and the when they're i i never stopped feeling starstruck i i and curious about what was like what show it was and sometimes they would have a little um cardboard uh 
piece of cardboard with a, a word printed on it that wasn't really the title of the show, but it was so they could be identified by the security um, the security team as belonging with this, you know, in the in the coned off place where they were shooting. It was it it felt um special. It was fun to see. Production going on. Back. I made myself some dinner. It's toast. Mm -hmm. So am I. Look and it. chocolate milk. Ooh, I don't have chocolate milk yet. Fancy pants. Oh, Carl, that's a really zinger. I like that. That is good. Anyway, nobody will know what I'm talking uh, about. Props to you, Kyle. <laughs> We're screwed. Okay. <laughs> so we have... um a cat we have here speaking to the mic meow of course now he doesn't want to talk so we have a couple people here that have some things happening i think right <coughs> um kyle why don't you go first sure sure this week on data skeptic i let it out late but it's a really good one talk to two researchers who uh, are looking into the waggle dance that bees do and uncovered a new element of that that was previously unknown about how their antennae are used in the communication process. Ooh, so that's this week on Data Skeptic. Oh, very good. Psychic bees? <laughs> no. uh, that's Wiggle what they bees. could have been, but now science explained it. Science explains it. Um, Carolyn, you have something this week? Will science ever explain how bumblebees fly? Did that a long time ago. Yep. Oh, yeah? Yeah. How? Oh, yeah. Um, the aerod aerodynamics. Yeah. I thought they were too heavy. Nope. Oh, who's yeah. got something else? Hello. Carolyn? So the only thing that happened today was um, I did sign my contract, I guess you would call it, to do a lecture and a workshop for next semester for the constructing conversations based on Ooh. Susan. Based on Susan. <laughs> Very good. Based on Susan's. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. No, don't uh, space it on Susan. It's good. It's good. No, that's cool. Right. People might run away screaming if it was basically. <sighs> Rob, you have something? Um, well, I I'm doing something next week, but there's nothing out. I'm actually going to interview somebody who has occasionally played uh, trivia with us for a skeptical inquirer interview, Brian Kirby. Ah, oh, nice. nice. I've heard of him. Mm -hmm. Hundreds of times great. you're having a conversation. <laughs> I also have my airplane tickets and my parking reservation for the local airport to go to North Carolina. Susan, are you working on some place for us to stay? Because right now I feel weird. There's no place to stay. I will find a place. Awesome, Rob. You're going to have so much fun. Nathan Romero, you want to say something about that? Sure, yeah. Yeah, we're having a, a skepticum in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina. It's going to be on uh, May 25th, Powell Day. And um, let's see what else. So, yeah, Susan's coming. Rob's coming. Kenny uh, Biddle's coming. Kenny Biddle. Nice. Uh, Elizabeth. Um, Erica. Er sorry, Erica is coming. And Oh, you, know, you got an acceptance from her? Yes. Yeah. Oh, great. We booked your flight today or great. yesterday. Yeah. So anybody that hey, Kenny Biddle was Kenny Biddle coming? Did I hear that? Kenny Biddle yeah. coming? Yeah. So anyone that wants to come to North Carolina in Raleigh, uh, you know, you're welcome to come. It's uh, yeah, it's free to. It's going to be a right. blast. Mm -hmm. We have two spare rooms. Yeah. So don't worry about uh finding a place to stay. <laughs> You'll just stack us up like cordwood. Yes. <laughs> and one of the bedrooms is haunted. Yes. Or actually, oh, well, we don't know. There. We don't know if it is. And well, Kenny but, will answer that. But yeah, the, Kenny the cats have been it. acting funny where they'll just stare into the void. So I don't know now. Well, that's being cats. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> or you may have mice in your walls or something. Yeah. We, used to, we used to have mice in our attic. And that's what the cats smell. Maybe. Yeah. I've got a cat in here. Yeah. 
So we're going to be also doing a skeptic camp <clears throat> in New Mexico. And um, we're finalizing that. It'll be the weekend right after the one in North Carolina. Super excited about that because Adrian's going to be there. Brian Dunning's going to be there. Celestia's going to be there. Um, of course, Ben Radford and Pasquale and Dave, Rich, Dave uh, Thomas. And we have some other speakers. So it's it's going to be so much fun, too. Same thing. Same, well, not the same thing. It's going to be different, but it's going to be really exciting. So I'm looking forward to that. Adrian, you want to, I'm sure you got a bunch of updates. Yeah. So we have a week in reason in a week and two days. Well, a week and a day, I guess, if including the pub night. And we're excited. And Wendy's coming. Yay! And Kat is speaking. I'm mm -hmm. so excited. And Kat, uh, because of what, being on Kenny Biddle's thing last week, I believe. Um, and maybe the skeptic zone, I'm not 100% sure, because you were interviewed last week, correct? I was, yeah, yeah, for CFI Canada. And that'll be on Podcast for Inquiry. Mm -hmm. It's going to air on Wednesday, May 1. It's exciting. Kat's going to get to a point where she can't even play trivia with this anymore. She's going to be too No, fun. I'm burning oh. through my 15 minutes of fame and come um, May 5, they'll be up. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Nobody's going to want to know me after May the 5th. <laughs> no, that's not true. Not true. I'm very much looking forward to meeting Kat and Wendy. It's going to be really fun that uh, this trivia game here has got us going all over the place and people <laughs> moving in areas that we <laughs> normally go. I, um, I will be doing a talk in, where is it, Carl? <laughs> hmm? Where am I doing a talk? I'm going to be doing a talk for Stephen Hupp. At Southern Illinois Hughes University, Edwardsville. In um, May. Just across the river. That's a party school. Oh. Is it? Ooh, party. So I'll, I'll say that in my presentation. I hear it's a party school and I'll put a party hat on. <laughs> That's a good idea. I should do that, huh? <laughs> or I can take my silly putty. So I'm going to do a talk for him there. And then I supposedly am doing a talk for the uh st louis uh skeptical society or whatever you guys are called over there i haven't heard back he said he wanted me to talk and i sent sent him my bio and everything so i don't know carl you might need to get a hold of john and say, hmm? you want me to go light a fire under him he's the one that told me he wanted me to talk so mm -hmm. talk about the observatory what do you want me to say about it <laughs> the book the astronomer's book oh oh yeah just we went to uh one of the places windy arranged when we went to la was to go to the uh observatory there on um griffith griffith uh, observatory and i had reached out to the director is somebody whose wikipedia page had been written by gsow and i had asked him and i went down and photographed him years ago so that there'd be a photograph to put on the wikipedia page and I wrote to him and I said, hey, we're going to be coming down there. You know, he says, I'm going to be out of town. It'd be great to see you. I said, oh, while well, you have me here, is there anything you need me to do on Wikipedia? And he says, yeah, I have a book that came out. So I just, they just sent me the book, uh, not the book, but, you know, the link to it. So I was able to update his Wikipedia article with the, the book. So that was really nice that, to keep it updated. And maybe he'll be one of the speakers in the future or something like that. Who knows? For he's, he's a fascinating guy. Copy. Mm -hmm. Good Maybe thing. so. Wendy and I are going to write an article here really soon with the, uh, aren't we, Wendy? <laughs> the Skeptic Camp Ballet. She's mostly written her thing. I've got to sit down and watch the videos again. And then we'll just do a combined article probably. She'll yeah. talk about the process of the Skeptic Camp. And I'm going to talk about the, the talks themselves. So that should be fun. It's on my to-do list. Every every day I look at that and say, I can get that done. I know. And then I had the same sensation. I'm supposed to be studying for um, um, my Wikipedia editor's training, but there's, I get. There's always yeah. something coming up. Yeah. There's always now something. you get your driver's license, so you you should be fine for a I've while. I've got that under control. And this thing with my sister's estate is almost under control. And you got your category for trivia done. <laughs> Yes. All the important things, top three things in, in the world there. Well, that's good. Anything and else? And going to Canada. Oh, yeah. And you're going to Canada. Oh, that's a little thing. 
Um, <laughs> no, it's <laughs> really fun. We'd like to do regional after doing skeptic camps, a bunch of skeptic camps. I want to see starting to get some regional conferences. And um, so Wendy's going to go scope out the We Can Reason one for doing larger conferences like that's supposed to be larger. So I'll stay sober. Please do. Yeah. <laughs> Keep that in mind. All right. Anything else? Is that it? Oh, I have one thing. So you guys know <laughs> there's is that drama with the UFOs people and all that stuff. So um, I did record a video for this group, this cosmic convergence people. And I told you guys about it the other day and that it's um they it was a three it ended up being three and a half hours and there's some contention it's got some you know it's very positive at times i'm explaining things they seem to get it and then there's a period of time during the during the inner like about hour two or something like that it got kind of heated and so i think i held my own i think i did okay but you know who knows and these are going to be edited so the video is coming out tomorrow night at seven it says i'm going to put the chat put it in the chat so i don't know what to expect but they want to do two more video two more videos one with the guy who's the who is the most anti us and uh, and uh i've seen him on twitter or to our ex lately and he's not been very kind so i and then they want to do another one with him and i so i don't know if i want to do that i'm, I'm almost at a point We'll see how this video comes out. But anyway, I'd be interested in your reactions to that. So uh, I can't reach the Skeptical Inquirer website right now. Can somebody else click the link I just put in the chat? And see if it's just me. Wait, chat. There, this guy who's who's doing a lot of problems for the GS. Well, not problems. Anyway, he's got. Uh, he's he's really harping on the Havana syndrome stuff. He's interviewed one of the lawyers, and it just came out. That is that is uh, he's representing people who were injured by Havana syndrome, and he's calling out me and JSW for editing the Wikipedia page and making the Havana syndrome page a mess. Even though we are not doing that, <laughs> we haven't edited it in a while, if not longer. And it's just these people are strange. Yeah, and not getting through, Rob. And what happened to Thomas John's website? got hacked by somebody not me i don't know if it got retained or not but somebody went in and changed it with all these pictures and and like like he's got kids now and it is i think it said brazil on it and somebody I hacked thought it was it. funny one of the comments was how did he not see that coming yeah everybody i've seen <laughs> is like, well how come he didn't see that coming but anyway his his personal facebook page got ripped i don't know if he ever got it back or not. He never looked again but that's pretty bad okay we're ready did to you go? ever get a hold of that woman susan who was trying to uh host his event or something the radio personality I sent, I sent emails out to people and i never got anything back and no i can't get skeptical and prior to open yeah me neither yeah because i found her phone number at the radio station she works at i don't know if i want to call her but um I would call the news and say, hey, uh, if you report the news, you, you're promoting a felon. Or you're pr promoting somebody who's not. It's The problem isn't that he is a felon, is that he's continuing to, to because uh, felons, uh, yeah, whatever. But he's continuing to. To uh, con people. Yeah, he's continuing to, continuing to do this currently. Right. Um, let's see if he's got it back. It looks like he got it back. No, if it's right, I don't know. If I couldn't access page. it at all. I don't know if this is the same page. He's got so many Facebook pages. Anyway, I'll have to go back and look. I think he might have blocked me. <laughs> well, I have to. I have to use a different browser. I'm definitely blocked. This is a different. I, I'm going to use my mother's phone and see. Okay, so we ready to regain? Who's up next? I had to let my cat out. Sorry. Someone who giggles Adrian. a lot. Adrian. Okay, Adrian. <laughs> Go for it. All right. Hi, Jane. Hi, Jane. Hi, Jane. Bye. Jane's leaving us? Oh, yeah. Jane. Yep. Oh. Okay, we got to quit now. Mm-hmm. Is she sleepy? 
Yeah, she's got to go. But she didn't say bye. Getting late. It's quarter to ten my time. So. So. All right, let's move it along. We're gonna move it along. We don't want Vincent to get tired out. So we're gonna do Star Wars science or fiction. Oh, oh coincidence! No. No. What a coincidence! Yeah. So, in celebration of May the Fourth, be with us coming because I won't be here next Thursday because I will be. Uh, unless we have everything done and we're good to go no, we won't see you next thursday i don't <laughs> think so and uh richard will be here i haven't seen any that. responses regarding interview possibilities so in each Robin, question who are you talking to <laughs> there okay. are three or four statements and one of them will be false find the false statement because Kara will be there next week. So we're going to give this a try and see how everybody does. So you are my guinea pigs. Thank you very much. And oh, so then Wendy better not be listening. Yeah, Wendy, you can't listen, but it's fine because I'll probably change it up. It's good. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm listening. So. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. Oh, and yeah. You better not listen. Is Jim's I'm not here? listening no. at all. Okay. And Kat's not going to listen at all. Is Jim going to nope. be there too? Okay. Jim will be there. Yep. He's got oh, a wonderful. ticket. Yeah. All right. So the first one. Is about Star Wars Day, May the 4th. And A, the first recorded reference to the phrase, May the 4th be with you, was on May the 4th, 1979, the day after Margaret Thatcher was elected as Prime Minister of the UK, when her party published an ad in the evening news saying, quote, May the 4th be with you, Maggie. Congratulations, end quote. B, the first organized celebration of Star Wars Day was held in Toronto, Canada on May the 4th, 2011 at the Toronto Underground Cinema with trivia, a costume contest along with mashups and parodies being shown on the big screen. See, the phrase may the 4th be with you was used in a Canadian Parliament debate involving capital punishment on May the 4th, 1994. Our D, on Star Wars Day in 2015, astronauts in the International Space Station watched Star Wars. Mm. One of those, three are right and one is wrong. This is actually really fun to research. I wouldn't have done very well. <laughs> Good, I hope it's difficult. Oh, so why did it do that? Do what? Uh, it gave me number one again, even though I have two on my page. It gave number one in the. Because you still have it in uh, copy. copy mode. Your copy. Um... You got got a copy. Two. It's still in your. Uh... It's, the, the cor it's the correct. It's the correct question, but it says number one when it's really number two. Oh, you know, that happened. To, was it Peggy last week? Yeah, Somebody... that happened last week. Yeah. So let me just try this again, but I'll, I, it might say two dash one or something. So okay. Zoom, Zoom did that last week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. See, so it's, I don't know. It goes two dash one. I don't know, but this is number two. So we'll all just type in the letter. So it's going to do something weird, obviously. So this is question two, more Star Wars days that I discovered. A, some recognize May the 6th as Revenge of the 6th, a play on the episode <laughs> three, Revenge of the Sith. B, Princess Leia Braided Hair Day is October 21st to commemorate Carrie Fisher's birthday and was started in 2017, the year following her death in 2016. C, Los Angeles City Council declared May 25th, 2007 as Star Wars Day. D, International Talk Like Jar Jar Banks Day is August 16th <laughs> in honor of Jar Jar's actor Ahmed Best's birthday. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I hope that's my grandson right. was doing that when he was a little boy and I and I hadn't seen the movie yet and I asked my daughter what's wrong with him <laughs> <laughs> and then you saw the movie and asked what's wrong with wrong him, with him. <laughs> <laughs> or what's what's wrong with George Lucas yeah. <laughs> apparently um the poor actor got a lot of flack so let me I'm going to type in three we'll see what happens well he's in he's part of trivia all over the world now so yeah. he did yeah, actually it's, well okay so i i pasted i typed in three and then pasted and it still says number one so i'll just it'll be like 
3.1, 4.1, et, et cetera. So in Star Wars, Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope, Obi-Wan Kenobi says, oh, I didn't do the C, but you get the idea. A, a great, I felt a great disturbance in the force as if millions of voices suddenly cried out in terror and were suddenly silenced. Silence. I fear something terrible has happened. B, we seem to be made to suffer. It's our lot in life. Or C, who's the more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows him? So it's doing very weird things with the copy paste. Okay, so this is question four. <laughs> oh, it's apparently too long. Okay. Well, it didn't add a one to it. It didn't it add a, a one to problems. it. <laughs> Why did they mess with stuff? And okay, so four point one. Here we go. Um, so this is quotes from Star Wars by famous people. A many many years ago. So quotes about Star Wars. Sorry. Many, a many, many years ago, back in 2009, I wrote an episode of my comic strip where, strip where two women are talking to each other. They want to go see a movie, and one woman says, I'll only go to a movie if it satisfies three criteria. And in this quote, it only gives one, so otherwise it would have been too long. I have to confess, I stole this whole thing from a friend of mine at the time because I didn't have an idea for my strip. My friend Liz Wallace said, I'll only see a movie if it has at least two women in it who talk to each other about something besides a man. I think it's a good criteria. That left very, very few movies in 2009. The only movie my friend could go and see was Star Wars, but somehow young feminist film students found this old cartoon and resurrected it in the internet era, and now it's this weird thing. People actually use it to analyze films to see whether or not they pass the test. Still, surprisingly, new film, few films actually pass it. And that was written by Alison Bechtel, and I have no idea if I said that correctly. I should be able to get B and C. We'll see what it does. Oh, it... that was just A. That was just A. Well, that's right. The the Bechtel test. <laughs> yeah. Right? yeah. So, okay. So as you can see, it did something weird. It's got A, A, B. So, <laughs> so the uh, one that's now says A is actually B. And yes. the one that says C, uh, the one that says B is actually C. Is everyone going to be okay with that? Yeah, I'm yep. changing on my face. So this is A, B, C. It's not two A's. Ooh, that so, was an Agatha Christie. B, well, yeah. Well, I like Star Wars. I thought Battlestar Galactica was such a close imitation of Star Wars, emphasizing the less attractive portions, that I was a little impatient with it. Isaac Asimov. And B... Hollywood industrialized mythology and then weaponized it. It is widely believed that the Soviet Union folded because they couldn't compete with America's missile shield program, nicknamed Star Wars. They'd ar I'd argue that the Soviets folded because they couldn't compete with the movie Star Wars. <laughs> <My brothers. laughs> Adrian, are you copying your material from Microsoft Word? I am, and I've always uh, done it. With yeah, that, well, that's, that's the problem. Word is always glitchy with this kind of thing. Yeah, I never have any problem. I've word. never had a problem before tonight. <laughs> a lot of times when we somebody calls it up to do the thing in the breakout room, there's problems with the lettering and numbering. It's, it's so weird. I, as I say, I've never had a problem until... I just use a quite, note, the notepad three, thing. Are there four yep, answers notepad. or three? <laughs> on question three, mm -hmm. I've just copied it over to our spreadsheet and it's mm -hmm. strange. Mm -hmm. and it says... Um, a is I felt a great disturbance in the force. Yep. B is we seem to be made to suffer. It's our lot in life. And C is who's more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows him. Okay, so then what is this Hollywood industrialized mythology and then weaponized it? That's the next That's question. Oh, I've got too many things on here. Number four. Adrian, instead of control Ving, if you right click and paste as plain text, it might work. Okay, I will try that. It doesn't give me a choice. It just says paste. Yeah, Zoom does not have paste as plain yeah. text. And okay, so I'm gonna have yeah. to go in and fix this. I'm catching it now, though. It didn't do D, so this time I will take. 
It looks like it's doing it in here so I can catch it, hopefully. Uh, I'll just pay attention, which I don't usually do. I just yeah, we don't copy paste and things. throw it in. So this okay. next one, question number five, is about Chewbacca. A, Chewbacca was born on the planet Kashyyyk. And Susan, I want you to try and pronounce these with me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce them either. Chewbacca is 2.3 meters tall. Chub and C is Chewbacca's son's name is Ruwak. And D, Chewbacca's wife's name is Malatobak. Malatobak. Yeah, I'm, Malatobak. Still, I'm still trying to copy question four. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to put it in again later? No, I'm, I'm all right. I just... Trying to get, I, I don't know what I did. I did something weird. I yeah. think I know where you got this from. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, oh, something. how weird. I'm trying to post in question four in the cell I've created for question four and it keeps defaulting to three. How bizarre. That is something weird. So we're having lots of weird stuff going on. Yeah, that's strange. No wonder it's appearing in the wrong place. You might have got question five from Brandy's favorite show. <laughs> the, the, the Christmas special. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. All right. The best. Question six about lightsabers. A, the sound was developed by Ben Burt as a combination of the hum of idling old movie projector motors and the interference caused by a television set on an unshielded microphone. B, at Disneyland, California, you can purchase lightsaber-themed churros. C, the hilt of the typical lightsaber is approximately 27 centimeters and the glowing laser is approximately 1.8 meters. And no, I'm not converting. So, Adrian, <laughs> what uh, is this... We're supposed to pick the right one, the wrong one? All the wrong, wrong ones. So there's All always wrong one wrong one. Okay. Okay. One so, wrong one and two correct. Yeah, or three correct. Correct if there's or four. Three correct there's, when there yeah, were four. There's always one wrong one. So pick the wrong one. Okay. But everything else is correct. 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 Because some of these I was thinking they were all, you know, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, that's the idea is they, they feel like they're all wrong or they're all right. and But yet there is one that's going to be wrong. And it's not just something tiny, right? Like it'll be the whole point is wrong. Right. Or yeah. Or yeah. Or if I'm talking like 30 seconds, I'd say six minutes or something. That that makes sense. Really wrong. Yeah. Okay, hopefully. So question seven. Let's see if I okay, yeah, it's done something weird again. Just give me a second. I'm on five. Okay. <laughs> so now it's at 71. It didn't even do so oh, weird. Okay. I'll I'll put the decimal in. Seven. I can I wonder. Oh, I can there we go. just take that off. I forgot I could do that. Magic. So number seven, humanoid sentio, sentient species in Star Wars. So Three of these are correct, and one is something I made up. A, Ithorians are the hammer-headed humanoid species. B, Vexari are slender, bioluminescent creatures that inhabit the floating islands of Aerolith in the Outer Rim. C, the Ewok is a small, sentient, furry creature who lives in trees in the forest moon of Endor. Or D, Gungans are sentient, amphibious creatures native to the swamps of Naboo. That one should be fairly straightforward, but I never know. And number eight. And of course, it's going to be stupid. Harrison Ford. This is about Harrison Ford. A. At Ripon College in Wisconsin, Ford was an archaeology major, inspiring Ford and director Spielberg to depict Indiana Jones as an archaeology professor. B. Ford was expelled from college four days before graduation. 
let's see. Before becoming a famous actor, Ford was a self-taught professional carpenter because he was not happy with the acting roles he was being offered after he offended producer Jerry Tokovsky while playing a bellboy in the film Dead Heat on a Merry-Go-Round. That was an awful movie. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let's see if this one, yeah, this one worked out much better. All right. So number nine is about Natalie Portman, who played Padme. And A is Portman is one of the many celebrities who have endorsed tail patches, which claim to, quote, realign your body, boost your performance, and upgrade oh, your life with the world's first nanotechnology light therapy device, end quote. Oh, man. A Portman graduated from Harvard University with a bachelor's degree in psychology in 2003. C, when Portman was 10 years old, a Revlon agent spotted her at a pizza restaurant and asked her to become a child model, but she turned the offer down. Those are all believable. <laughs> Makes it harder. I did my job. I know <laughs> which one is the fake one. <laughs> this is really believable. Okay, and number 10, the last one, Star Wars versus Star Trek, or Star Trek versus Star Wars, whichever way you would like to, or prefer to order it. A, on May 4th, 2017, Forbes magazine published the results of a survey <laughs> of over 4,000 people conducted by Payscale Human Capital, which showed that 46% of people preferred Star Wars, 14% preferred Star Trek, 12% hated both and 14% love them both and 14% said what's the difference <laughs> <laughs> B in 2023 a poll conducted by the giant freaking robot Exeter account answered the question quote which franchise's future are you most excited about and 25.9% featured the DC Universe, 30.8% Marvel, 22.1% Star Wars, and 21.2% Star Trek. Getting closer. C. In a survey conducted in 2024 by Sci-Fi Saucer Surveys, 2,500 Sci-Fi fans were asked to choose the preferred science fiction universe between Star Trek and Star Wars. The results were as follows. Star Wars... 1,120 votes at 44.8% and Star Trek 1,380 votes with 55.2%. Good luck. Oh, okay. Do you need me to give you a chance to catch up there, Susan? Or No, I got it. I actually got caught up. Oh, good. All right. Any questions? Any answers? <laughs> I love that. Alan doing is going to go on team five. Hi, team. Hi. All right. I'm going to let you guys lead on this. Let me know if you need a tiebreaker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, all right. So the first recorded reference. Um. We got to figure out which one's the false one. Well, number f on question one, it can't be number. It can't be D. That's two thousand fifteen. Hold on. Star Wars D. Because May the Fourth has been around a long time, hasn't it? Yeah. We. Yeah, I, I think we have to do these in order because it's four pages long on here. Yeah, I agree. So on question one. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if it was B. Isn't true? Oh, wait, wait. It's the one that isn't true. Right. Yeah. Isn't it true? One is wrong. Oh, so okay. So D is probably, okay. D's probably the answer, right? Yeah, I got to I gotta think about. Yeah, because it's 2015. You say you're telling me that they just didn't decide to watch the film in 2015 while they were on the International Space Station? Oh, Does wait, that, sound, that sounds like I'm, something I'm they would confused. do. <laughs> yeah, okay. it sounds like something they would do. Which one, which, which one of these things did not happen? Probably C. Okay. Um, 
Why would there? I mean, why would they have capital punishment May the Fourth? Well, that seems so obscure. She wouldn't have made that up. It's possible she did. Does that sound like something she would have made up? Yes. Does it? Because I, um, I know, I know the. They could have said it, but they probably didn't say it on May 4th of 1994. How about A? That May the 4th be with you, Maggie. Yeah, I, I, I was okay. thinking A is that. believable. Does that sound not right? That We can go with A. Gosh, they all sound bizarre. Yeah. It's okay. Number it's two, it, the number two, the answer is A. Are you sure? Yes, because it's Revenge of the Fifth, oh, not awesome. Sixth. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, good catch. Uh-huh, because fits. Yeah, was it, it, clever it, it, with I that thought one. it was just a typo. You're right. Okay, question three. I think it's... In Star Wars. I mean, Star Wars Kenobi did say I feel great disturbance in the Force. Yeah, I remember that. I think it's, it's probably B. B. I think it's B. I think that's from another movie. Because I think I've heard that before. Because when they talk about suffering, pain leads to su pain. Anger okay. leads to pain. Pain leads to suffering. So I would. I don't think they would say B. Well, what about C? C. I think he would say, "Who's the more foolish, the fool or the fool who follows him?" Yeah, I think I've heard okay. that. Yeah. Okay, this one right here. A is correct. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's long. <laughs> I know. I can't I imagine doing this on trivia. This would be too hard to read all this out to people who are in a loud room. Um, it can't be Asimov. He wasn't alive. Wait, wait. Was he alive? He died. That's, in what the... I, that's exactly what I was thinking. Is when did he die? He died in the eighties, didn't he, or early nineties? Yeah, the, uh, Star Wars came out in the seventies, right? Okay, so I guess he could have been alive. Would he have seen Battlestar Galactica? No, that came out in recently. Well, yeah, like so it's B. It's B. It is B. Wait, Battlestar Galactica is old, isn't it? Like the seventies. It came out like in the 2000s, no? I thought it was old. It's old, but I don't know how old. I thought it was the 70s, but I, I wouldn't, I I don't feel 100% confident. But I think it is old. It's, it's, I thought it was 70 and it's older because it's I remember old. watching it and it was definitely before 2000. Really? I watched it. And I It's probably B because C sounds correct and one yeah. is correct. I mean, A is correct. So I guess it must Space be the Asimov C? quote. Yeah, go with that. That was Asimov quoting about Battlestar Galactic. It seems odd to me too, even if it was around. Chewbacca. Oh, he um, was two point one meters tall. I don't know any of these. Um, like any random one there, and I would know nothing. Uh, it sounds right. He is tall, but I don't I'm, know what the other one is. That. That's um, like six something, right? Seven feet almost. Is that right? Does that sound right? Yeah, it sounds about right. But Does the other Chewbacca three, have a idea. son and a wife? He did, and it's um, uh, and it's in a seven and a half foot tall. That would make sense. I think it. The planet. I don't think is. Kashyyyk. What planet was he born on? I don't know. I don't know. I know it is. Lightsabers. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised about the lightsaber churros at Disneyland. They sell everything. Um, they did written. Hmm. Did you purchase? I don't know. I did not Three. purchase a lightsaber. But they would sell one. Okay, did you see him doing that? I don't know. Oh, well, this is California. 
True. See, I don't know if it's true, but it sounds reasonable from what I remember seeing. 27 centimeters, which is about that much. Which, you know, it was short until you opened the light, right? Yeah. The glowing laser That's is... 10 inches, just 20, about 10 and a half inches. Yeah, and then oh, 1.8 meters is about the length. It looks about right. That's long, 1.8 meters. No? That's too long. 1.8 meters for the light? Yeah, that's uh, how many? Almost two feet. A little more than two feet. That's well, about that's, right. You want to look for the length though, of right? the sword. Oh, yeah. Well, that would be almost, that would be over six feet in length. 1.8 right. meters is 70 inches. So it's almost six feet. I don't think that they're. Yeah, lightsabers are not that long. Okay. That's what you think. I'll go along with you. Yeah. I don't know. I want to go back to number five, but we can come back. Well, let's to finish that. them and then go back because yeah, I have to find it again. Humanoid sentience, please. Ewoks are from the but the farce mood of Endor. I have a cup of the Battle of Endor downstairs. Um, we yeah, know C is correct. Yes, Gungans are. Um, Gungans mm -hmm. are, that is what Jar Jar is a Gungan. I thought that was, that's from the song, Gungan style. No, that's <laughs> Okay, you just stop. Jar okay, I don't hate Jar Jar. I actually hate I love Jar Jar. Okay. So um, I really do like Jar Jar. I don't find him annoying. I'm sorry. Um, but well, Jar Jar is a Gungan. He wasn't Jar -Jar amphibious, was, was he? My favorite character. I, and I was love Jar Jar. It's just, oh, he's a Gungan. And I believe he is from, he is underwater from Naboo. Um, Ethorians, Hammerhead. I don't know about the Ethor. That would make sense, Fish. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen them. I don't remember a bioluminescent I don't remember creature. bioluminescent stuff, but I haven't. Do you remember a bioluminescent creature in anything? In not the Star Wars. I have, but I have not really delved into like the real. Fan. No, I have. I don't know about the names. I'm just saying I can't remember a bioluminescent creature. I think they do have. Let's go with. Let's go with B. There are creatures with shark heads, but I don't know if I'm getting it's not that. shark heads. Hammerhead. Yeah, there were there was a hammerheaded creature. Okay. In the in the, uh, in the bar scene, there's a hammerheaded creature. Now I'm gonna be upset if you can buy lightsaber shaped churros in Disney, <laughs> and we didn't get that in Disney uh, World. Well, I the other choices are just like so credible. Okay, so Harrison Ford was expelled from college. This was... one, I think I'd heard he was a carpenter. Okay. Um. A or B? I think it's probably A because I think it's A. He wasn't an artist. Because they didn't either. necessarily pick Spielberg didn't pick him. And I mean the character was already written. And it needed to be an archaeologist in order to have the story. Yeah, so I think A's wrong. It belongs in a museum. Nine. Um uh, a sounds right because that's something Adrian would have picked up on right away. Portman Portman did graduate, but I don't know if she's got a bachelor's degree in psychology. I think C might be wrong because that seems odd. How would we even know that story if she turned the person down? It'd be different right. if she if she'd said, "Okay, I'll do it." I mean, how would it happen? Anymore. A child that's, is ten. I have a she the was gun, in, my gun she era. Well, they, people don't go to. I think that's false say. because she was in a movie called God. I think it was not Belly. She was in films. I think at age ten. But hmm. they, you know that's an old movie thing. You know the the director sees the person oh. in the in the in the restaurant or something and says, "Oh, that would be an actress." That that doesn't happen anymore. I, if it even happened then, I well, I guess well, it did. It, it, just the, had a, the story certainly suggests that it used to, but yeah. it doesn't happen anymore. They were probably just trying to get her onto the couch. Yep. And I have no clue about that. Okay, this one. 
Although I believe that people said believe what's that. the difference <laughs> because people don't know the difference. Yeah, let's see. I suspect A is true just because of that. I, I think if you ask people that they're I that, think B I think B is false. Right? I think it's B or C. Yeah, I think A is I think true. It's B. I'm okay with either of those. With nobody's, I mean, I think the Star Wars number is too high for that one. Really? I thought a lot of people like Star Wars. A lot of people are sort of, I think there's a lot of people that are upset with how Disney handled the last film. And it's all they're getting is TV shows right now. And I haven't heard any real like significant hype of, you know, expansion from the Mandalorian and the Obi-Wan. And then you had the Bo book of Boba Fett. So God, I don't even know any of these names. You could be making it up as far as I know. No, they're actual Disney shows on Disney plus. Because the book of Boba Fett follows Boba Fett's life. The Mandalorian follows the Mandalorian and Grogu, which I I have a Grogu. You guys problem. done? Pretty close. Would you like to go back to five, you said? Yeah, because I'm trying to think. Most people are done, so I think I'm gonna give a two minute warning if that's, yeah, that's fine. Good. Go ahead. We are we are we'll be done by then. Just re -looking I know that I, I'm torn between A and C. Hmm. Go with C because I don't. I'll agree to anything you say. Yeah, I'm, on that one, I don't, I don't have a is, I'm, I'm thinking just the way it has two R's and then two O's and then two K's that just doesn't. Sounds too much. It like, sounds. Rah, rah, rah. And he's not going to call his child. Rah, rah, rah. <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> you're going to be really embarrassed if that is his real name and you're going to be like. Oh, oh, oh. No, because I remember Metallo book was like, everybody thought that was just kind of the stupidest thing, like Chewbacca. Chewbacca's. Yeah. So. I, Why I think you have a point, Dave, because. You, you, when you're writing a script like that, you want to make it pronounceable. And I wouldn't even know how to pronounce that. That's true. And they're making these things up, so they want to make something that sounded fine. But now right, but they have to fall set of like, Ruah. <laughs> yeah. Ruah, come clean your room, Ruah. <laughs> what would his middle name be? That's how he knows he's in trouble. I have no idea. Be, uh, I don't understand. Um, Why would these people have cultural cultural things that we have like, like there there is a whole i forget the actual celebration that people will come up dressed as wookies to go to star wars land to celebrate whatever like living whatever living day is life day there's the there's the chewbacca life day i think is what it is the wookie life day i don't know haven't you noticed to... Susan, yeah it's things? happy wookie life day yeah what gail one of the things that I've noticed about science fiction, especially the bad ones, is on Earth, we have all kinds of races and people, and people all look different, depending upon where they originate. <laughs> what were you saying about people were, you noticed in bad sci-fi? Bad sci-fi, there's one race. All the people are foreign, but they're all the same. If you're from that planet, you're all the same. At least the sentient creatures are all the same. It's one of the ways you always know a bad science fiction film. Mm -hmm. They don't come in races and windy. or ethnicities or anything. Yeah, squat and sleepy. <laughs> I guess I'm muted. All right. Are everyone ready? Yep. We'll see how everybody did. Hey, wonderful discussions. So for question number one about Star Wars Day, the fiction is C. The phrase was used in a UK parliamentary debate, but not in Canada and not regarding. Oh, that's too. Wow. <laughs> that's not fair. <laughs> so Margaret Fatch, I mean, Canadians are too nice to have said that. Yeah. So that Margaret Thatcher thing apparently is real. Well, I would have said that one wasn't real. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. I didn't think it could be part of a debate of of capital punishment because I thought Canadians were way too smart to have capital punishment. <laughs> there was oh, actually was on that date, there was a debate about capital punishment. That part is true, but the May the that May the fourth be with you did not happen. They did not so, so did did uh banning capital punishment result from that debate at that time? I I believe no that was way before I was gonna say it was just it, so it was just refining I think it was something small it was okay, I was gonna say why are you debating something that you'd already banned yeah there was some there was some I don't I remember I don't remember exactly what it was about it might have been just one of the like it, they made it all across Canada whereas before it was I can't remember I did this a couple of weeks ago but made there, it a federal thing as opposed yeah. to province by province yeah. I think that's what it was if I remember mm -hmm. correctly but I may be wrong with that okay that makes the United sense. States yeah. is currently debating abortion okay well I I well <laughs> well like I said <laughs> Canada's too smart <laughs> to, be, well, there is yeah. to consider banning abortion or 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 well abortion. we'll see Alberta's trying hard to be more like the U.S. Uh, so well, I'm sorry Star to hear that. Yeah, me too. So, uh, number two, start more Star Wars days. And I loved the conversation about this. The answer is B about the Princess Leia's braid their ha your hair day. I thought it was, but and the international talk yeah. like Jar Jar Binks Day is a is a thing. There's even a whole website about it. <laughs> There's uh, people who talk about it. They do have events. They do all kinds of weird shit. Anyway, it's oh. well, according um, to Wikipedia, I'm, I'm at Beth's birthday is actually August 19. And it is not Revenge of the Sixth. It is Revenge of the Fifth. Oh, the that's day. that is a thing, too. I was going to put both of them, but I decided not to. So there's actually two days that are are acknowledged. One is the fifth. And the, there's a big debate about which one is the better. So both are it's Revenge both. of the Fifth. <laughs> well, all the cool kids know it's really and i think we need to get that <laughs> so we can have You're credit for it about it being a thing but the revenge of the six the six is also a thing so they're both all so, right so is is a an a real answer or a wrong answer um it is a true for number answer. two is b is the wrong answer a is correct a is correct. 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 It's, it's the Princess Leia hair day that's the fake one. That's the one I made up. <clears throat> well, I, I want to start that one. I want that one to be true. I agree. You know, there's whole videos out there about how to braid your hair like Princess Leia. That's got to be the ugliest hairstyle ever. But at least it looks know. like it's something that's different. It's based on Mexican warriors. Ooh. All right. That's question scary. three. Yeah, it's three. Cool. Oh. Uh, sorry. I'm gonna have to put the number in. For question three. Oh, that's what look what it's doing. It's doing it in a, at least on mine. It's staggering it down. Question three, the answer is B. And I think most of you got this. And people were even identifying who said it. It was C3PO who said that line. It was not attributed to uh Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, so it was there, but it wasn't. Oh, interesting. Yeah, wrong person. Everybody knows that one. Person? Person? They didn't. Actor. I'm going to call it a person. The actor is a person. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's also Character. artificial intelligence. Let's call him a person. Get rights and privileges. So I think the one question I do need to probably change is question number four about quotes from famous people. I felt that it had some confusion and uh the answer is a and i love people's rationale it's too long so let's just put a there's lots of things to <laughs> in that question <laughs> and what it is is it wasn't about star wars at all it was about the movie alien ah and oh. in turn, we have the Bechdel test, which is a good thing. Exactly. It's a real, I thought that whole part was really fascinating. It's just, you know, I might make a different question about that because I think, I don't think that question was great. Okay. Question number five. I think most of you got this because you remembered the whole, um, no, 
Holiday special. Holiday special. What's a pretty bad movie? <laughs> life Day! Let's celebrate Life Day! Mm. All right, so here we go. It is C. Chewbacca's some name is actually Lamparu. Lamparu. What was number four again? Lumpy. Number four was A. That a. big long thing. Because it was a it wasn't she wasn't talking about Star Wars at all. She was talking about Alien. Different movie. And C was C is number five. C is D then? What? No, so five. It's C. Five. five. C. C. Oh, yeah, okay. five at C. And for number six, we have yeah. C because I doubled the length of the actual lightsaber. So it was twice as big. That was oh, the really? light that was the light lens. So it man, is, that was <laughs> there man. is a labor churro in Disneyland. I'm really glad to hear. I it. knew it. I no, knew I it. didn't see it. <laughs> I didn't think you made that up. I, yeah. yeah, I didn't think so. Either. I'm angry and, that you guys oh, have the light members in my group. So and Romero was, pointed okay. out this is California that we're talking about. So they would have a churro. That's right. Yeah, they sure would. Yeah. Yeah, I would like ten bucks. Yeah. That uh, yeah, they'll be expensive. Because, like, so number... they're $6 at Disney World. Hopefully oh, most of you didn't talk yourselves out in number seven. There were some great conversations, people saying they couldn't remember anything being bioluminescence, and that is correct. So answer for seven is B, the Vexari. I made that up. Mm. It's really a good answer, though. Thank you. <laughs> it sounds very, like... Yeah, if if people... Right are, if they're not familiar with the wor worlds then you could see people picking it, but most people are fairly familiar with some of those planets and some of those, the, like the hammerhead guy, I think he comes up into, he's there a lot. There's a hammerhead guy? Yeah. He's in the Bobaverse. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> see? <it's> a... <laughs> you should, that, that ain't right. So for question number eight, uh, yes, apparently Harrison Ford, according to Wikipedia and a source, uh, he did actually get expelled four days before graduation. The answer is A, he was not an archaeology major. I made that part up. Yay. He was a philosophy so, major. Do we know why he was expelled? Four days I tried to find it and I couldn't find it. The source for Wikipedia, the link, uh, it the link is broken. So I couldn't Ooh, actually find link it. rot. Yeah. That's that's not not okay. Okay. So we'll make we'll make something nasty up, huh? Oh, that means yeah, we could put whatever we want. Yeah, so I'd have to do some further digging for sure for that. And for number nine, I loved hearing the conversations about Natalie Portman. <laughs> and yes, indeed, she actually is very quite scientifically sound. So A was the false one. I made that up. Oh, uh, she is actually right about that. She was regarded. This is from uh, uh, what was. American, uh, we were the uh, published in American Council on Science and Health in 2017. She was regarded as someone who provides scientifically sound information. And I tried to find something that she's lately said, and I think she's gotten a little bit into the politics, so some, some controversy over politics, but not over pseudoscience. Yeah, I think she's an atheist. Like I think there was an atheist profile. Yeah. On Facebook. She, it could be. I didn't see that. I just saw that she. I, well, or, then it must I don't be remember true. it. Well, it's a free <laughs> religion organization that does those things like that. And the last one, I know there were a lot of hopeful people that really wanted to see C be true, but I'm sorry. That's the one that I made up. There was no such oh, thing. Oh, oh, we got it. There is no such thing as sci fi saucer surveys. Ah. I made up the numbers, I made up everything about it. But there's a lot of articles out there that think in net, in future polls, Star Trek will actually pass because over the years, so there's tons of articles written about how it's catching up. But I didn't see a, an actual survey that showed one above the other. But there is, a, a, especially because of the more recent series, apparently, that's it's gained popularity. 
I should have pushed harder. I thought yep. if I saw her survey sound had reasonable reasoning. Bogus to me. Yeah, ben said that. <laughs> Leonard. <laughs> so the, an the answer everyone is... knows that Star Trek is far more logical. <laughs> and, and this is good Nanu job, Nanu Leonard. From Mork and Mindy, what are you talking about? So many about? people have their thumb in. Thumb is out. You <laughs> so don't the have answer your thumb is in. C thumb on that out. one, right? The Mork and Mindy. Because yes. it says ten A and then oh, answer C. Oh yeah, that's C. weird. Nanu, okay. Nanu. Yeah, okay, thank see. you. They're all oh, Shaddai. Shaddai. Why I did that? Yes. So yeah, I will. Is, I will put it in again. A, uh, this skin. is Shaddai. Yeah. Yeah. How's that? I fixed it. Yeah. I have no idea why it automatically put an A in, but it did, and I didn't now, notice. Now, now we're more right than we were before. There we go. Thanks, Ron. So I don't. I don't know if it got edited out by Zoom's background music disable, but I was going through my box of old stuff, and just this morning. I found this. May the pun be with you. It's a lightsaber card. And when you push the buttons, the lightsaber actually lights up and it plays. Oh, cool. that's very cute. <laughs> Whose lightsaber is that? Uh, it looks like Yoda's. It's pretty small. It's only six inches. So, <laughs> Rumps. <laughs> you know that they all have their own colors, right? Y yes. Oh, brother. Okay. Are we ready to do scores? Sure. Ready will ever be. Oh my goodness gracious. This is this is a long game today. Um all right. We're gonna start with to get rid of TikTok, no need for Congress to ban it. I think we got five. Okay, if you say so. All right, then that means that team one, Vincent had a laser peripheral something something. Oh, you have to say it, Susan. He had a peripheral idiotomy and sees all the wonderful people. We we uh, we got six. Ooh. Sneaking okay. ahead there. Stop okay. the cat. And then Stormy the had a hard time keeping each pecker straight. Nine. Dang. Ooh, wow. of nerds over there. Uh, Trump worries about peckers leaking, pecker leaking. We had five. Darn. That was a stretch. Okay. Trump is being undone by a pecker. Eight. Well, you gotta you've got a variety there. Six point six. Neck and neck tying. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. So we have next Carl, right? Yes. Friends, I am falling asleep at my table here. Oh, oh no, Wendy. No. You don't want to miss this round. Time, and I, and no, I Wendy. Thank you for you don't want to miss this time. round. What is this round? I am toast. We need you. Right. We the need snoring you. will keep your team awake for it. <laughs> well, we will wake you up. We promise <laughs> we will wake you up. Put your head down and we'll wake you up when we need you. Don't you don't even know what the category is. <laughs> Wendy's bound to do better than me. Oh, it's advertising characters, spokespersons, personalities, and mascots. Mm. One more round. You could do Thank it. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Advertising characters, spokespersons, personalities, and mascots. Name the commercial product or company associated with the following. Number one, Mr. Whipple. Oh, at least this will be fast. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Carl. Number two. Sailor Jack and his dog Bingo. <laughs> Number three, Rastus the Cook. Four, the Noid. Five, Morris the Cat. <laughs> Number six, the Swedish Bikini Team. Number seven, the Pink Panther. Number eight. Jeffrey the Giraffe. Number nine. Clara Peller. And number 10. Mrs. Olson. I'm glad you gave us the characters' names and then we have to come up with a company. The other way around would be way too hard. Well, the other way around would be hard because many companies had many different mascots over That's the true. years. Yeah. We wouldn't remember. It. We might right say, answer. I think it was a cat, but we wouldn't know which one. And that's how, you do it. that's how you do it. That's wonderful. Thank Boom. you, Carl. Okay, scores? 
Yeah, right. Susan. We got this right. Oh, uh, I got, I got, I got. Some four. of these are. Uh, I just got four. That's yeah. all. Mr. Whipple is the toilet paper. Charmin. Please don't squeeze the Charmin. Okay. And Sailor Jack is the uh, Cracker Jacks, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. This one. Yep, Cracker Jacks. I don't know the cook one. No, uh, I, I, don't, cook? I don't know anything till we get to seven. Yeah, oh, seven. Annoyed? That's. That's the is it Owens Corning? Uh it's fiberglass insulation. Is it I just wrote fiberglass insulation, but yeah, we need uh, Morris the I'm cat sure it. Wait, did, wasn't the question named the product? The product. So the commercial product is it's so Owens Corning also makes plateware and stuff. So but it, it's it's basically it's it's insulation. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. seen that. I'm putting insulation. This okay, is Toys R Us. Is, um, yep. It's cat food. It's the um yeah, the Morris the cat. I but which don't cat remember. food is it? Is it Meow Mix? Is it Little Friskies? What is it? Me it wasn't Meow mm, Mix. Crap. Because he uh, talked, Friskies? He talked very like this. I, I think it'd be something more elevated. He had a real sophisticated voice. Oh, was it the the stuff that it was in the can, like dainty or whatever the heck that? It wasn't crap frisky, was fr frisky feast. It wasn't the Frisky Feast. It was, or was it? Mm. Fancy feast. Uh, Was it fancy? Well, you know, it says product. So cat food. Doesn't cat food go good then? The product? That's cat food. Oh, yeah. That's yeah. Good. So if he just wants the product, then we should yeah. just say cat food it's because cat food. that'll help keep us from. Yeah. So I'm pretty I don't sure know. that's Owen Corning, but yeah. I don't know. Any Jeffrey the giraffe is Toys R Us. Yeah. 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 Jeffrey. Anyone know who the heck Clara Peller is? No. I yeah. Didn't. That's where's the beef? Oh, very good. Is that the where's the beef lady? Yeah, yes. that makes. You don't oh. listen to. Story I never knew her name. That, that definitely. He makes says uh, uh, Ben Radford puts her on his list of, and I think I think uh, skeptical. That was Wendy's, right? Though. Yes. They put on like their top, uh, the top um, skeptics. Of so, Carl, you want products? So, like for something like Pink Panther, we can say insulation. We don't have to say the company name, or you do want the company name, or company so company name or specific product name, not general category. Oh, so we got to oh, come up with. Yeah. We can't just have cat food. Well, then we're going um, back to. I better go sure clarify that to everyone. Okay, Miss Olson. Was I think most people know, but Mrs. Olson was. Um, yeah. And then, it, which coffee is it? Well, so then we have to say Charmin toilet paper. Mm -hmm. For one. Fancy feast cat food. I think you're right. It might be. We're gonna say fancy feast. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Cracker uh, Jack. All right, the Noid. I know what the Noid is. It just never heard of that. What is this? God, this is gonna bug me. Is it a candy? No. It's kind of like it's like a kid's awesome. product. It's like an annoying kind of. There's like a something the noid. I think it rhymes. Hmm. Oh God, I can't remember. Is Rast Do you remember the, the commercials like with a, Mrs. A Olson? Mrs. Olson, she did the was it, what was the red can of the can that's red coffee. Oh, I think you're right. Folgers? Folgers. Folgers. Is, is that who Mrs. Olson is? I think Folgers? so. All right. Rob, why are you behind the curve there? <laughs> uh, I forgot to put my camera back on. Oh. Nah. Um, Rastus, could that be a fast food thing like Arby's or something like that? Which one? The number three. No idea. Um, What about Swedish Bikini Team? That Never heard of it. Figure that out. Is that? Uh, oh, um, would, would I think I know. Tanning, would this be a tanning, a, th a tanning thing? Yeah, oh, I bet it's, you it's it's the, Hawaiian the, tropic. That, that electrical tape. Yeah, Hawaiian Hawaiian tropic. I was trying to think of the popular. Yep, I think that's right, Rob. It's if it's not that, it's some other brand. That's... Not keys kinesio tape. I think you were the only group that was going <laughs> in that direction before that was invented. Okay. We're the only group that went in what direction? You were the only group that was going in a general 
two two general rather than a specific oh brand. everybody else got it we said commercial product or okay the noise i can understand oh. where you got the confusion from i'm a little surprised nobody else made the same mistake mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I've never heard of Rastus the Cook. I've never either. I'm just guessing some fast food thing like Arby's or something like that, but I don't really know at all. Heck. It's probably the hardest one in the round. I think it could be like a sailor or something like um, a fish food or something like that. And, or And Carl, the noise going to bug the crap out of me I've never because heard of I know it. I can see the little annoying mascot I character. I just can't remember What's if it's it like, like a like a, a candy or i don't know it may be like a store like an electronic store or like a video game store did radio or something shack like ever that. do anything like that did what radio shack and ever do anything like that maybe fries do you guys have a fries electronics never heard of it yeah i think it was a california thing it's gone did now. radio shack use the noise at some point best buy no i don't think it was best buy I would say Radio Shack just for the heck of it. If yeah, we don't have I mean, another, I don't remember answer. any kind of mascot for them. I can't even remember what their commercials were like. But God, it's gonna bug me because I know once I once he shows it, I'm gonna be all like, "Son of a bitch!" And put Arby's for three, unless we come up. Okay, with that's better than a blank. Arby's. It's the cook. Who could that be? Rast is the cook. Who the heck is that? All right, let's see. Boulder's Coffee. Yep, yep, yep. Wendy's Worst Beef. Toys R Us. Owens Corny. Yep, Morris yep. the Cat. Doesn't feel like it was Fancy Feast. Um, well, if you're um, saying it's like the sophisticated, it's uh, the, the yeah, sophisticated cat food is definitely Fancy Feast. How, it's about, just... how about Purina Cat Chow? No, Purina Cat Chow was cha 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 in the, they, it was not. He was like a really lazy cat that just kind of was like, well, bring my food. Oh, so is it the same Morris that's in the cartoons, Morris? The lazy cat? Wow. Which cartoon cat. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, like there's a, there's a strip. There's a newspaper strip cartoon with Morris. Can I, I don't know. Really? That. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Hmm. Okay, if it's not, well, maybe it's fancy feet. It's, um yeah, I'm assuming yeah, we should be good on seven because it's we know it's insulation, but I'm yeah, I'm sure it's almost like, positive it's it Owen's Corning. Is the company. I remember buying it and saying, Oh look, it's a pink panther. Because it's pink. It just seemed like an odd thing to have the pink panther logo on. <laughs> I was you would think it'd be more like a diamond or something would have it. Yep. So we're pretty sure on most of them, just <sighs> number three, well, and four, I don't, God, that's it's annoyed. Oh, no. What? Uh, what? I, I checked the, skepti- the Skeptical Inquirer uh, link, and it's working again, and I just saw their latest episode, the second article by Zeller on the schism in the skeptical community. Oh, yeah, Barry conflict. told me that they were going to come out with something on Damn. that. Damn. He, he said that that's something that's going to come out. Uh, they were, he says we're working on it, so it I is, don't know. Actually, it's, it's yeah, Twitter. published. Yeah, it's published today. The German dilemma continues. Skepticism in the face of ide- ideological conflict. Oh, that should be interesting. Okay, I'm going to pull that up right now. Damn. Well, they said that there was elections happening in May, and that's what um, Annika has been telling me. So she yeah. says, I don't know how many people are going to stay after after May. Speaking of the skeptics guy, that got a mention on uh, John yeah. Oliver. Yeah. yeah, but they're not happy about it. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, all right. Skeptical so I guess... Inquirer did too, I believe, right? Uh, I think it's... I heard that they did. I didn't want to watch the episode. I saw what Rob posted today, and yeah. I think I and I think Skeptical Inquirer said that they had a brief mention or a brief like on the. Screen. They just flashed it up because they they had Jimmy Carter interviewed on, and and they were talking about that, but he never went into okay. Uh, now we figured out what that was. That's right. Yeah. yeah, that's 
I, I read that, Rob, yeah, and I was, I was like, that they whole really Don Oliver thing that? played a little bit to the false middle. Yep, yep, yep. yep. That's that's bad. I haven't watched it. But I, I genuinely like the the show, and they usually do a pretty dang good job. They did they a good one on psychics. A really like good job. I'm very disappointed. Uh, All right. Okay. I'm just hoping. You guys did great. Seconds. Hawaiian Tropic. Ooh. Is that sunscreen? Yeah. yeah, it's like a sunscreen thing. Oh, okay. Hey, okay, well, great job, team. I'm Good actually, job, Carl. Nice and fast. Yeah, I'm actually pretty br proud that I don't know those guys' things. <laughs> <laughs> you don't feel like you're missing no, out. The labels in my house. <laughs> All righty. Commercial Ooh. watching. Yeah, there we go. See, some of these are old. Yeah. You have a round two. I won't. I won't say the ones I wanted you to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> First, she squeezes the tomatoes. Then she squeezes the melons. <laughs> and now she's squeezing the charmin. Please don't squeeze. Groaning. Eden. <laughs> that is doesn't it make you want to get some of that coffee doesn't it i want to go in that kitchen no that coffee gave me heartburn so bad <laughs> this okay. is what just john's just mother used to grown. make the only <laughs> good thing awful. about that coffee was the coffee cans are so versatile to use yeah <laughs> very <laughs> useful i really miss the fact that we don't have coffee cans anymore for storing all your nails i and have tons and... of coffee cans we gotta come next house. time i see you celia i will give you <laughs> go, coffee go, cans. To, go to bj's or costco they still they i sell mean they're like so green great green those green. old coffee cans but yep. I, say, I still i save them all get those somebody on uh twitter challenged me in saying that matt fraser is a real psychic because he's so specific and one of the things he said to somebody was can you believe it that your father he's showing me like cups with coins in it and stuff she's like oh we had cans all over the you know in the garage with all kinds of coins and stuff and i'm thinking we all did at our family all did <laughs> everybody you did know that. a can or something like that yeah those old coffee yeah. cans well, for, for the benefit of the two people who watched the recording that didn't get the answer, uh, number one, Charlotte Charmin toilet paper. Number two, Cracker Jack. Three, cream of wheat hot cereal. Number four, Domino's pizza. Number five, Nine Lives cat food. Number six, Old Milwaukee beer because it's you know barely beer. <laughs> Owens Corning fiberglass insulation for number seven. Eight is Toys R Us. Nine is Wendy's and ten is Folgers Coffee. Very good. Good job. Was fast. And if anyone cares, the the word and PowerPoint for the round are in the chat. Okay. Oh, I just googled good. it. Yes, nine lines of food. It's still available with marks on the back. Have you seen the commercial where they show oh, you replaced your Folgers crystals at this fine restaurant? Mm -hmm. yeah. And then yeah. you see the Sad Night Live version of it. Chris Foley. Oh, it's hysterical. All right, to get rid of TikTok, no need for Congress to ban it. Just give it, let Trump buy it and ruin it. We got seven. We don't even have to get him to buy it. We just have to let him run it. <laughs> okay, Vincent had a laser something something. <laughs> you can't and say it. Yet. Peripheral. Peripheral. <laughs> peripheral. Peripheral. Peripheral lobotomy. Yeah, that's it. L lobotomy of your eye. And we got nine. Ooh. Ooh. Damn. Stop the count. Trump worries about pecker leaking. Oh, that's so gross. Yeah. Yes. Oh, wait. Oh, that's so wrong. Nice. Okay. Stormy had a hard time keeping each pecker straight. Six. Six. What? Uh, Trump is being undone by a pecker. Seven. <laughs> Oh, barely. Oh, and the seven oh, point eight score there, Carl. Okay, so before we go too much further, I just got to make sure <clears throat> the next week filled because I only have one job and it's to make sure we're filled up for each game. So we have Jamie, Rob, Robin, and I need one more and a bonus. 
I have one ready. You don't get ready someone else. I'll do the okay. bonus. Gail and then Kevin. Gail for a category and Kevin for a bonus. Okay. Thank you. Very good. Now, Cindy, Cindy. Oh, what, Wendy? Good night. She really says she's going to go. Night, Wendy. Good 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 and that's and I call those weird words that are real words. Ooh. Let me see if I get it right. So this is uh, based on the fact that when I can't sleep at night, I look at pin interest or Pinterest or how to pronounce it. Mm -hmm. And mainly I look at images, but sometimes I will um, look at words. So I started making a list of weird words. <laughs> and then I decided maybe I should fit these words, make sure the definitions and pin interests are correct. So I used uh, Merriam -Web Webster Online Dictionary. What I'm going to do is list the weird words <laughs> and then their definitions. And you will match the definition to the word. So there are going to be 10 words. Oops, I didn't mean to get that one twice. So there could be uh, 10 words and 15 definitions. Oh, don't make it hard or anything. <laughs> Make them weird, silly words. Well, or a pope. They're kind of silly when you look at them. Okay, so, so let me start putting the words in. I bet you Wendy would have got an ace on this one. <laughs> Damn it, Wendy. If we lose by one point, you better message her. I'm going to send her a call. Folgers crystals. <laughs> <laughs> Old Milwaukee beer. Old Milwaukee. Call her up and ask moment. her to come back. <laughs> you need to come back. It's all Wendy related things. Yeah, that beer commercial, they don't have commercials like that anymore, do yeah, they? Yeah, I wonder why. Uh huh. Yeah, because they're offensive. God, it, that really was offensive. I know they made those men look so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these are real words, Cindy? That was offensive yeah. even before the ladies got there. Oh, I like Snolly yeah. Goster. I want to eat that one. Oh, Snolly I thought you were referring to the beer. Wow, I, I saw I, one of these. Actually, was. bad beer offense. Beer I saw his, one of these words yeah, the other day, would. and I don't know if I can remember the definition. <laughs> well, now you know you better pay attention. Well, number seven fits in with our theme of the uh, show. What is our theme? Uh, from three of the team names. Oh. <laughs> oh, it didn't come out well. Um, F. Yeah, I, I'm working on getting the others. Okay, so what we're looking for is the number and then a letter, and that's how we're you're going to read them off to us, probably, right? Yeah. Oops. What is it, sweetie? <laughs> hmm. Okay, so. The 10 words are Smalley, Oster. No, let Susan pronounce them. No way. <laughs> it's Cindy's game. I second that. Susan. No, well, Cindy should do it now, but Susan has to do it later. <laughs> Latherskate or, or Sky, whatever. Paralogize. Verbicide. Cacafiego or. I'm not sure how to pronounce that one. 
Slobber de Gullen or de Gullen. You stay awake at night to look at this kind of stuff. Cockalore, mythology, cockistocracy, and ultra carpetarian. Okay. The definitions to choose from A is a person who talks foolishly at length. B, a swaggering braggart or boaster. C, a loud, a stupid, rude, an awkward person. D, a shrewd, unprincipled person, especially an unprincipled politician. E, a wasteful or impractical project or activity often involving graft. F, government by the worst people. G, government by those who seek chiefly status and personal gain at the expense of the governed. H, a cowardly buffoon, rascal, scamp. I, a boastful and self-important person, boastful talk. J, a bellyache. K, to reason falsely, to draw conclusions not warranted by the premises. L, a hatred of argument, reasoning, or enlightenment. M, a dirty rascal, scoundrel, wretch. There you go. Dirty roll mat. Mo mole rat. Dirty roll rat. <laughs> Good night. Dirty. You, you should just say number 11, Trump, all of the above. <laughs> and someone who gives an opinion beyond their level of expertise. Oh, my God. This is so Trump. All of these are freaking so Trump. <laughs> Oh, deliberate distortion of a sense of, of a word oh as in punny. One who distorts the sense of a word. Okay. So. Yeah, it's like the, the judge is conflicted. He keeps saying the judge is conflicted. What the frick does that mean? Well, then mm -hmm. He's a Republican. Okay. Let me... Um, Okay, so I guess I hit all room, open all rooms, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay. So, does anybody mm -hmm. have any questions before I sit you to your rooms? I mm -hmm. I would I would have problems sleeping at night if I was thinking. Of this. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, it actually does help me go to sleep because then it's, it turns my brain off. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it's one way. Okay. Did I? Did, did yeah, I? Did is Okay. I don't think I know any of these. I don't know any of them, yeah. Let me look at it. Uh, we have to make Kyle, it up. Willing, hey, Kyle, is there any way, are you able to put like uh, put it up uh, so that we have them side by side? Yeah, we're going to need to yeah, have them. Give a, me a second, I'll get that going. I think the verbicide, isn't that like killing of plants or something? Or Wait, a which, word. Uh, which one's that? <laughs> Four. <laughs> verbicide. Or is that somebody who does something wrong with verbs? They use them incorrectly. Well, no, I think that would be a, a, a word, something to do with word with words, not. Uh... Well, then that would be oh, deliberate distortion of a sense of a word as in punning. Yeah, maybe. Celebrity Golian. That sounds familiar. I use that all that, the time. That sounds like uh, a. Celebrity Gol Gol Golian. So which one? Well, I'm thinking six and A. We think. I, I mean, I four, don't know. It just, it four just, is it just, O. Cacafuego. Oh, cacafuego. That's a word. Um, What is a cacafuego? I think it's. It's like a really bad screw up. I think it's fiery shit. I think I thought it was. Um, it's like that thing in in Cars Against Humanity. <laughs> so which one would it be? Oh, I should look on your screen, huh? Oh yeah. Toys. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe a cacafuego is L, a hatred of argument, reasoning. No, that doesn't make sense. K, 
to reason? Uh, Cockalorum could be M. Uh, which one? Cockalorum. Uh, A dirty rascal M. scandal? Okay. I, I don't know. It just. Mythology. Would that be okay. K or to reason falsely? I do Oh, yeah. It, the beginning where it says "miss" that that does kind of make it sound like yes. that. Taco Fuego oh. is this, yeah. I thought it was a screw up or something like that. I thought it was I. Um, I just remember um, Gail bringing up that word a lot lately. <laughs> Taco Fuego sounds like, like a, it from. sounds like a it sounds like a Mexican resort town. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it sounds like you know. I agree. Like... I've heard it somewhere. <laughs> Yeah, she tried to use it in a team name, and I think she finally did. So oh, wait, that's five, right? Boastful? Yeah. Oops. Was it a boastful? Like this. Um, this is like that's... playing that game, you know, was it the, when you play dictionary when someone, you yeah. know, when you have to make up these. Uh... I think nine is F. I was just looking at that, yeah. It does yeah. Yeah, let me... yeah. Ultra crepidarian. Hmm. Other than what's G. Aerologicus. Um Capitalism. Well, it's one of these two, right? Yeah. Para para. Paralogize. Well, para would be two, right? Mm. Paralogize. Okay, so. Oh, wait, maybe B is. Five is B. Maybe. Well, those are almost those the same very things, similar. aren't they? They yeah. are kind of similar. It is. I wonder if she realized. I wonder if they yeah. she realized that she's got two that are the same. We got more options than. 10 so i'm putting two under some of these and we'll come back right and that makes sense. Yeah. i really want to know what ultra crepidarian means because that's a pretty awesome word yeah <laughs> ultra crepidarian that it sounds, sounds like, like a someone right so maybe yeah i was yes. gonna say the aryan part on uh, it how about l okay. what is the parent p-a-r-a l is l would be three i think yeah do you guys know what para means? Like we well, remember like Paralympics. Paralympics, Paralympics paraglider, paranormal. Oh, Susan, I'm just gonna let you guys. Susan? Yeah. Um, Carl got lost. We don't know if he it good, doesn't good. Say keep him out. Keep him out. He just dis disappeared. Oh, maybe oh. he thought the game was over. No, it's probably his computer restarted on him. Or oh, something. that's right. It's his thing. So he can't win this anyway, this one. All right. Okay, I'll keep an eye if he comes back. Okay. Well, now somebody has a chance, right? What, what team is he on for? <laughs> <laughs> I think E is either one or two. Um, Carl, really so that leaves Ben and Rob. Oh, be Latherskite's going to be somebody who talks a bunch of no nonsense i think well that could be n yeah um, or well, a wait what's the other stuff yeah lather foolishly i th i would well latherskite because you know when people blather on they just blather yeah, doesn't on. that sound right yeah. yeah what about c mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that, that one too. Be. Yeah, sure. okay. yeah, yeah. Snollygoster. Snollygoster. Could that be a bellyache? It sounds could like a be. Thing. Yeah, could be. Could be. Okay. So E would match boondoggle if we had it. Yeah. <clears throat> So I think he's just a uh red herring. One. Yeah. Okay. Anyone a fan of N? All right. That's a N is like a 
Uh, sorry, H. Dunning, well, N is yeah, a N was sort of a Dunning Kruger thing, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so I think right, N is then. probably not, is another one of those fake ones. Yeah, why wouldn't we already know about this word? <laughs> it's so useful. Yeah. Right. All right. So maybe it's D. A shrewd, unprincipled person, especially an unprincipled politician. God, you would think they would be using that yeah. all the time. Yeah. Um, ultra. Now I want to. I want to memorize how to pronounce that, and I'm going to get on the news somewhere. Uh -huh. I'm going to use that just with a straight face. That's very ultra crepidarian. Out of F and G, I'm leaning more towards G. Same for, here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. And then Cacafuego, let's break a tie. You both mean the same. Yeah. We can make that argument if we have to. Mm -hmm. Unless both of them are make em ups and it's one of these. Oh, well, the caca comes from like cacophony and so something like that. So what's <clears> left <throat> over again, Carl? We I didn't don't... use E, <laughs> H, or N. Oh my God, I can't believe I did this. And we, we got to <laughs> narrow down one. We're not going to use B or I also, one of those two. B, 5B. Take it out, you mean? No, I was going to say use it. Okay. They are I, the same. Well, yeah, we got to pick one. Oh, well, that's good. Mm -hmm. Oh, geez, I guess. So, which one of these? Which one of these? All have two answers, or do they all have one now? We're down oh, to well. one now. It doesn't mean it's the correct one, but it's, it's right. one to one. Mm -hmm. Because we got to make sure we can hold on to last place. Are you guys really <laughs> in last place? Yes. Yeah, I guess really. Gonna, I kept throwing more people at you guys. <laughs> Did I make it harder or better? Hard to say. Um, where where are the the remaining uh, things? Are they down? Oh, unused uh, here. here. Uh, shrewd, unprincipled person, especially. Isn't there five of them that are unused? Four. <clears throat> Hang on. Uh, I'm wondering if uh, uh, 10 shouldn't be in. Only because I'm just thinking of the ultra part of it. Oh, yeah. Ultra is a better fit for N. You're right. Yeah. So are you guys done? Yeah, I think so. Somebody think just so. came in. I think it's Carl. Wait, let me put Carl in his room. Yeah, it's Carl. Okay. He's back now. He's in room four. Hey, I was thinking about are we done? Are we done with this? Pretty well, much. Let me check on room four and see if they want more time. All right, guys, are we are we done on this? I think so. Okay. Yeah. No, because I was okay. So it's nothing to do with this. But I was just thinking back with Princess Leia. Um, I a, a bunch of years ago, before she was dead, I played with, uh, I played a concert with uh, Debbie Reynolds, and uh, when oh. she when she came out into re at the rehearsal, because you know these concerts you do, you you basically run through the program, and then the artist sort of shows up at the end for like a sound check. So she comes in. She looked like a little old lady with you know coke bottle glasses and a big big 
purple hair and this stuff like that. But she and she walks in, she walks up to one of the cellists and she leans over. And, you know, we all thought she was she she was dead. We were surprised she was still alive. She comes in. She says, you know who I am? I'm Princess Leia's mom. And we're going like, oh, my God, this is going to be terrible. But that's uh, that's how she introduces us to to her to her like we wouldn't know. <laughs> she was and this is Carrie Fisher. No, this was uh, uh, yeah, uh, Debbie Reynolds. Yeah. Oh. So she said, so she comes. She says, but it turned out so that night that the you know I mean she also walked in and you know when she she came in totally transformed for the concert you know uh, and when she she walks in and she, you know she asks the audience you know originally they had scheduled um, uh, Doc Severinsen but he couldn't do it so she was the replacement so she goes she says how many of you thought you were going to see Doc Severinsen so some people put their hands up she says and we were all thinking the same thing she says how many of you thought I was dead <laughs> And then we all just fell off our chairs. You know, it was just funny because it's exactly what we were thinking of. You know, but uh, she was so funny. She was terrific. But, I gotta um, look her up. I, oh. I don't even remember her at all. I know the name. I, I, saw, I think I saw some movie with her in it. When, when what I was Debbie a kid. Reynolds? Singing yeah. in the rain. Singing in the rain. Yeah. I'm singing. Is she the one that danced? Yeah, she was. The, she was. Uh, the, oh, the one the, that backwards and heels. The backwards, no, no, no. That's that's. Uh, uh, that was um. That was yeah. Fred Astaire and what's her name? Uh, Ginger Rogers. Yeah. But, uh... <coughs> oh, Debbie Reynolds was great. Oh, she did make it a long time. She made it to. Oh no, her career was seventy years. Wow. Yeah, but she was when she she was like eighty four when she was like sixteen when she uh, did uh, singing in the rain. <laughs> She's very photogenic. <laughs> She died right after, uh, right after um, um, Carrie Fisher. I mean, she was just, you know, devastated. And Carrie Fisher died of what? I think she had a heart attack. Carrie Fisher was. She's only sixty. Wow. Yeah, she wasn't very old. Did she, she have very... a hard life? I, I kind of. Yeah, it says. Uh, I sleep think she kind of did. Sleep she was. She was oh. really funny. <laughs> but uh, no, this concert, this concert with Debbie Reynolds was actually one of the best concerts so ever she sang? played. She, she, she sang. She, oh, she sang. She did. She did. Every, she was terrific, you know, and uh, she she made all kinds of fun of herself because she had all these marriages, failed marriages. She was married to, you know, like Carrie Fisher was Eddie Fisher's uh, yeah, daughter and Eddie stuff. Fisher. And, you know, but she was she so she poked fun at herself and and uh, and it, but it, it, it was a it was a great show. It was so much fun. You know, when you expect when your expect expectations are really low, you know, it's it's a real bonus. You know, what happened? Uh, why? You know, you wonder about these marriages and stuff. And the is it that they is it just because they're so tough on themselves? You know, and they. You wonder why it seems to be there's so much problem. Well, I, I mean, my guess is she, she, she probably got married real young. And, you know, it's it's also got to be tough. This competition. Um, these guys all have super egos. I was just going to say, I bet a lot of it's ego related because. I, I, I'll bet much much of it is, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, you, you're attracted to. I mean, they're all good looking people and stuff like that, you know, and. uh uh, it's not, you know, the package doesn't tell you everything, you know, so. Uh, You're also, you know, the fame, just having so many people wanting to know you. I'm reading about Carrie Fisher here. She had she had an affair, a three-month affair with Harrison Ford during the filming of Star Wars. Then she met Paul Simon, and then they dated for six years. And then she was engaged to a Dan Aykroyd. He proposed her on the set of the Blues Brothers. I didn't know that. Well, that was a, that was the problem right there because it's such a shitty movie, and she found uh, that out after when it came out. And then she says they got they had rings, they got their blood test, they get married, and then she got back together with Paul Simon. And then she married. Uh, and Paul I Simon also know that. By the way, I know I'm also the only person that hated that movie in this group. <laughs> the only one. 
So can you imagine she's only married to this guy, uh, not even a year, 10 months. Who? Which guy? Uh, she was married to Paul Simon for 10 months. And then they get divorced. And then they date again after the divorce. I'm still stuck on you don't like the Blues Brothers. I yeah, know, right? We, we all, <laughs> was, I'm it. sorry. I, I, I did you guys a favor and I sat and I watched it. It was the longest two and a half or three hours I'd ever been spent. Probably just didn't like it was, no, <laughs> I, it, I thought it was a really crappy movie. Randy, so we had Why? a category on the Blues Brothers and he was all like, I've never <laughs> seen it. We're like, how could you not have seen the Blues <laughs> Brothers? So he did. He watched it and he hated it. And we were like, glad you did watch it because um we're talking about alan hating the blues brothers i'm glad you eventually watch it because at least now you understand the cultural references that oh, i understood that stuff time. before but brandy don't <laughs> hate don't hate me brandy <laughs> i don't know i don't think we can be friends alan <laughs> hey carl's kitty hey carl's kitty carl is walking oh there's a key and, and we wouldn't fault you for that if he doesn't like it, then... my my internet died. Yeah, well, we, we were kind of, we were phone. kind of counting on, uh, on on Carl not being able to find his way back. <laughs> 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 yeah, Cindy comes into the room, goes, "Carl disappeared." I'm like, "Oh, good, now we have a chance." <laughs> Sorry, that was my bad. I let him back in. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. Shouldn't he be okay. walking in profile? <laughs> crash, like... oh, no. Precious. Kitty. Is that Ninja Cat? This is Ninja Cat. Yeah, well, how do you know it's Ninja Cat? We never see Ninja Cat. Mm. We, only see <laughs> we can't see her. That's a mess. It would and make much more here. sense if uh, Ursula was Ninja Cat. And then here's being, Ninja Cat's sister. Being black and all, Aww. you know, because especially yeah. easier to hide Devin shadows. wears a mask. And that's why they're not black skinned or haired or whatever cats are. They're it's it's a mask she wears. Hey, it looks like it's back up. I might be able to get back in here. Oh. All right, Cindy. So so, so 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 for the record, Carl got past that pretty early, and Ben and I were left to our own devices to put the list together. <laughs> by the time by the time Carl got back in, he just said, "Yeah, it all looks good." So it, 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 it's, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Are, yeah. are you trying to put that asterisk uh, on our score for this round? I think so. I used to know people who played pool and they would do this right before they started to play when they're playing in a champ, you know, in a game that was a championship of some kind. They would Answers. say, they Answers. would say, oh, hold on. Some of us have to get up in three minutes. So <laughs> they would, they would always give an excuse as to why they would probably fail. And then that way they covered the bases. Oh. It was so annoying. Okay, okay so does. I, I put the does. answers in chat. Yay. Yay. One Thank you. Is, a, is D. Two is A. Three is K. Four is O. Five is B. Six is M. Seven is I. Eight is L. Nine is F. And 10 is in. Wow. Not too bad, Ben. Yeah, we did Carl. pretty well. Yes, I, I was thinking of Trump when they put this together. It would be hard not to with those words. And, but for 10, the best person would be Tucker Carlson. <laughs> if you heard him talk about evolution on the Joe Rogan <laughs> show. Evolution, and we don't know where nuclear technology came from. Right, and aliens. What are our aliens? Yeah, they're they're what the super normal what and the the spiritual. Hmm. There are no aliens. I'm scared. I was hoping that the answers were going to spell out Donald Trump. And I realized <laughs> you have <laughs> I'm not that clever. <laughs> now I, uh, I gotta sign made, off because George just bonus. gave me the shit. I gotta go to bed with George. Sorry. Oh, okay. oh, oh fine. All right. Good luck, team. We'll see you soon. Good night. Okay. Good, night. Good, night. Good, night. Good night. Good night. Did everybody get I'll their let you know if we won, Peggy. Thanks. We didn't. She has to watch <laughs> the video. No. I'll tell you, you didn't. You didn't win. No, we definitely did not. Ah, oh, you never know. Okay, so I'm supposed to screen well, share. Not, you never know. We're gonna know in a few minutes. 
All right. So you guys added them all up? Yeah. If I knew who won, I'd be psychic. Well, it's one of these five. It <laughs> to get rid of TikTok. I'm amazed that we got any. Oh, we got three. We got three. Really? We only got three? No, no, oh. that's that's <sighs> wrong. That's for one. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm? To get rid of TikTok, room Janine five. is Janine is in the first team. I'm, right, I'm and it was. I thought I heard Carl, Kyle. Yep, we got three. Oh, oh. okay. Okay, so Janine, how many did you get? Three. Three. Yeah. Wow. Trump worries about Pecker leaking. <laughs> hmm. No. Whoa. Holy crap! <laughs> Holy crap! You got a Canadian on wow. you. Oh, they got an <laughs> etymologist in the group. <laughs> How many oh. insects? Yeah. <laughs> 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 so I had a hard time keeping. Oh, I was a cyber and seven. Ooh, Trump is being undone by a pecker. Nine. Wow, tie. Oh, oh tie game. Oh. Forty-two. Oh, Forty. What a great number. Oh. Nice. I'll I'll take seven <laughs> for the Dang bonus, people. Rob. I think we we did all right. We did good. Uh, we did wow. Twenty eight. Good game, folks. Hey, Vincent, my team didn't, didn't, didn't get in last place. Huh? You didn't lose. Didn't Vincent. hit last <laughs> place. Not That's not amazing, place. Vincent. You're yeah. all you can place. see. I can see. Yes. As you, <laughs> you can see, see we were not last place. Looks, <laughs> really teeny tiny. Hi, yeah. In that case, Vincent, you can see All right. Me go. Good night, folks. 1 30 here. Good night, right. everybody. Good, night. Good, night. Good week. Bye. Bye. We'll see everybody but Adrian and Wendy next week. That's right. Bye, Bye. everybody. <laughs>